they were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black can. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you can it smell like straight horse booty, bro. That was Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Uh, there you go. Jeff. Good job, sir. Why don't you lead us off today? So we have a new special guest. A long time coming. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You hit, what did he say? <laughs> Stop. Stop. You're, you're fucking it's up. It's one of them. Got it. So oh, after bro. fucking up the intro, we have a new special guest. Would you like you to introduce yourself? Oh man, I don't know how to follow up after that Ooh, with that. Voice. That was pretty solid. Uh, my name's Brooke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, yeah, I'm Brooke. I uh, work with Jeff. I just met the other Jeff, but it's okay. We all Jeff's up in here. Yeah, for sure. That's for sure. Up. We'll call her Jeff number three, and then we'll call him Bruce. Bruce J number four. Bruce J. Bruce That's J, J number about. four. Yeah, <laughs> he's uh, he's just chilling on the yeah. floor. Well, but, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, That's definitely. Exciting. I know. I appreciate you yeah, for appreciate uh, you taking the time out of your day because, again, you're the one that, you know, it, you're kind of doing. Yeah, <laughs> you, well, it's not that you're kind of doing us a favor by, by, by uh, coming in and on top of that, gracing us with your presence. Exactly. No, and then, I love podcasts. So. Oh, That's fire. cool beans. Yeah. Cool beans. Any particular ones you? Oh, don't make think? me shout out. No, uh, right. I mean, okay. obviously, crime junkie at first. I love crime and you know paranormal uh -huh. and psychology degrees. So Ooh. okay, you know, cool. That beans. kind of stuff. Liked crime junkie. Got a little weird though, but uh, <laughs> how so? What happened? So they had like a whole controversy where they weren't you know doing their research or they weren't crediting their research. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. So I kind of backed off for a little bit and started uh, doing. Uh, and that's why we drink, which is two chicks that just hang out uh mm. one drinks wine one drinks oh, milkshakes. yeah but the thing is they lived in la one of them was like a nickelodeon writer and the other one was a uh prop Whoa. maker for marvel for marvel yeah. oh that's, oh, that's pretty I was like, nice. oh you're just gonna like have a fun fact about yeah that's what i'm saying you're just gonna rock past they, that fact. they just like created a podcast and became a podcast i was like what that's the hell nice. but yeah they do a paranormal and crime at the same time so i was like that's pretty cool oh, and they stopped doing it because they weren't no, no, they still they still do the podcast thing, and then I started bringing up Crime Junkie again. But when you got like, and that's why we drank, where it's kind of like this, where mm -hmm. you just talk, yeah, enjoy it's it, like see free flow, it's pretty yeah. chill, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. That's definitely like my that's top fire. one. But yeah, I love that's podcasts. Fire. Obviously, never thought I'd be on one. So hey, that's what's up. <laughs> and of course, we're definitely gonna have you back again, maybe next time. Yeah, because I talk so much. Yeah. I, get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't trying to say all that, hey, but we all got talent. I can say, I yeah, we're good at talking. I can say this when I clock in to work, I'll be. Staying Standing there for about 30 minutes just having conversation yeah. with her and, it, and it'll be about and it'll jump from topic to topic to topic and and it's like what we were originally talking about yeah. <laughs> i mean he got a taste of that this this uh oh yeah afternoon. like in, walked in, the, in took us 30 minutes to that was fine yeah, yeah, yeah i mean that was what's up i mean That's we're fire. introducing you to bruce like we That's do everybody fire. else but yeah. that was pretty cool but um um so are we going to talk about the trip <laughs> yeah we can talk about all right trip. so apparently Brooke was supposed to go to Paris. 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 Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So let's for, dive in. Yeah. For anybody listening, I work with an airline uh, at an airport. That's how things go. That's where you work. <laughs> 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 but uh, I grew up in the airline industry. My mom worked for the same airline, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I used to fly for free. Oh, cool. If you oh, work for the airline, fire. you tend to fly for free. You think it was. Think it was. Right. But um, I had this whole plan for, for my, my boyfriend. Um, basically, I wanted to take him to see Lionel Messi. He's a big soccer player fan. Wow. Loves Messi. I wanted to take him to see to Paris for like a week. Go mm -hmm. see PSG. Yeah. I got. I was part of their membership for PSG. I got everything planned out. I worked my butt off for. I did 50, 60 hour weeks. For, Let me tell you. When I saw her, she was exhausted every single day. Like, I would literally say, Brooke, you have dark bags under your eyes. She'd be like, thank you. Yeah, thank you for like, letting me know that. Yeah, he's like, you look like crap, man. You look like crap. You look like shit. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Keep it up. You know. Listen, not to go off a slight tangent, I never know why people are like, hey, man, you look like shit. I'm like, thanks, man. That, you really need to see. You could have kept pushing, but I'm glad you took the I'm time. I'm glad, yeah. You, 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 you let think, me know. You brought that up. I think because you're, you're so 
straightforward with everybody that people mm-hmm. feel like they can be straightforward with you. Yeah. So that's probably well, why they say what they. But then it is me. Yeah. I, I am. I am. Yeah. Well, I like when people are like, man, you look like a goddess. I'm like, thanks, man. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. Then she's gonna be like, what do you want? She's gonna be like, what do you want now? Yeah. But um, yeah, I was gonna take him to Paris. Had it all planned out. Yeah. Been planning it since April. He had no idea. No idea I was doing it. Um, finally, was pretty much set. We were ready to go. Um, I had everything refundable just in case, but okay. I, uh, like, three weeks before it was supposed to go, uh, it was time to tell him, so I texted his mom, his mom is currently sick, told her what's going on, and she's like, absolutely not. She was like, absolutely not. Oh, she's damn. like, he can't afford it, he's in school currently. Right. Um, she's like, there's no way he can afford it. I was like, well, I'm paying for everything. I had everything paid for, <sighs> I was doing it all, he just had to show up. I even got my passport ready, no, that's a girlfriend right there. And, uh... She was like, no, absolutely not. And then uh, once we got the whole financial part figured out, once she realized I truly had it all covered, because I ended up telling him, and I was mm-hmm. like, we can't go. And that was heartbreaking. You don't ever want to tell That's, somebody. Yeah. 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 And but, be like, by the way, psych. Psych. <laughs> can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up. That's so funny. Like <laughs> such an inappropriate. Sound. It's I just ch- like everybody's like, oh man, that sucks. Damn, bam! I was looking for the hot guy. <laughs> shots to the chest. That's bro. what it felt like. It's like <laughs> it hurt. It was so bad. Because you, you worked so hard, bro. Dude, I, I mean, the four months I just thought about. It, I was mm. like, I was. It was really hard. I, I struggled a lot with like how angry I was. Because um, it ended up coming down to she understood that. I could afford it, or, like, I had figured it out, and then her response was just, um, well, what if she dies while we're away, because she's, she's sick. Oh, yeah, she threw it in her face. And, uh, it, it then came down to, well, what if I die while you're away, and I'm like, well, that immediately cancels it, like, I can't, wow. you can't go after that. That's yeah, wow. so, um, I was like, all right, you know what, let me figure that, figure it out three mm-hmm. weeks out, I ended up going mm-hmm. with the cruise. We had a great time on the cruise, it was nice. Where'd you end up going? Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah. Everybody goes Bahamas. Right. Went to yeah. Nassau and That's Princess right. K's. Yeah, how was that? Uh, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Uh, I remember it. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. If, there's, if you do anything, you got to get the drink package. Because mm. after, after the months I had just gone through, I was drinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I uh, got the drink package. Never hit my 15 drink limit. <laughs> wow. Just so is it 15 drinks for that whole stay? For the day. For the day. You get 15 Damn. drinks for 15 the day. 15 drinks a day? Yeah, you per get a 15 day. drink limit. It's got to be $20 or under. However, everything pretty much there is. Unless you like a rich bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly. max. Yeah, that's so uh, it wasn't very, I mean, it was very difficult to hit that limit. You weren't going to. But especially I went to Senior Frogs on the first day. So mm. I was out like Yeah, because I know you did tell me you always wanted to go to Senior Frogs. Yeah, it was crazy. It wasn't, you know, I only lost a couple hours. Um, I'm not a big drinker anyway. Oh, she lost a couple hours. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I only lasted a couple hours. Oh, okay. I was about to oh, say, whoa, no, like, like, what happened? I was like, man, off rip. She said, give me the She's largest like, why am I missing the tooth? <laughs> <laughs> no, so we started that morning. We, uh, went to breakfast, had a, had a drink together. And I was like, all right, there's one. Mimosas? Uh, he had, I had a, no, I had a, a Dirty Shirley. Oh. Vodka Shirley. He had a, he had a mimosa. Okay. Not much of a champagne person. Yeah, yeah it tastes like garbage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it tastes yeah. like garbage. And then... It's... That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, made it to Senior Frogs about an hour later. Okay. Ended up being about four shots deep. Uh, four or six shots deep. Three drinks in. Went in for that, like, conga line. Yeah. Hit that third shot, and it tastes like straight gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you know you're in trouble. <laughs> You doesn't know, taste good like, anymore, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're like, I'm having fun. No. Uh, turned to Ryan. I was like, hey, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw he up. He goes, all right, let's go to the bathroom. I'm like, we ain't going to make it. Ah, <laughs> I just, right here. I just clasped those hands together. I was like, let's catch it. Cause <laughs> listen, if there's one thing I learned about being in like retail and customer service for my yeah. entire, what, 10 years, uh-huh. you don't you don't make other people stay inconvenient. Caught it, went in to the bathroom, got rid of it, cleaned up everything. I even went back to the spot, make sure I didn't leave anything. Any residue or nothing? Nothing, nothing. Yeesh. Spent a couple hours on the island, went back, and slept for four hours. Damn. Just knocked out for four hours. But I remember it. That's all. Okay. So, <clears throat> when you go on the 
cruise mm-hmm. and they let you on the island. Yeah. Is there a resort that you sleep in on the island or do yeah. you go back to the ship? You go back to the ship. Okay, okay. I mean, you can do, I guess, apparently. I mean, I'm not this fancy. I don't get vacations. I'm poor. <laughs> Please, sir, let me go. <laughs> they have a raise. <laughs> can but, I have a raise? Inflation. Uh, okay. But apparently... Uh, Apparently some people will, like there's, you know, like, um, what is it, Atlantis or something. Mm-hmm. They'll go stay on Atlantis for like three three days or something and then take another cruise ship back, I guess. Oh. Uh, Damn, they got money. Yeah, Man. I don't got money. They I got just, connect <laughs> ships. I, I accept my five-day cruise and call it a day. <laughs> nah, but that's pretty solid. Yeah, five but, whole days, right? Yeah, well, Paris would have been better, but, you know. How long did day. you plan on staying in Paris? A week. A week, yeah. We were going to go for a week. I had the game picked out, everything. I had... All the way down to the trains My that God. we were gonna take. Wow. That hurt me. That and hurts, I didn't even go. man. Yeah. But you know what? You gotta kind of like learn from it. Right. Just, you know, take that hit and keep growing from and it. Keep growing. Yeah, um, yeah, that's facts. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, it was really tough for me to like get over that emotionally mm-hmm. and like not be angry. I've told Jeff a few times, like I'm inherently a very impatient, angry person. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to find opportunities, not to make myself sound like a saint or anything, but I try to find opportunities where, like, I can learn and grow. You're human. I guess be an adult. <laughs> right. Um, All right. And listen, it's tough. It's, it's yeah, tough. It is, it is. That shit is tough. Because a lot of people, a lot of people have to go through a lot of struggles to be able to say, "I'm okay. I'm good." Like, perfect example, Pastor Scurry that we had on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Yeah, I just let it go." I'm like. What? Oh yeah. Well, he yeah. told me that. Yo, the the heat that built up in my chest when he told me he lost fourteen years off of, uh, uh, his life, off of his life for for what was it? Something that he wrongfully didn't yes, a crime he did not commit, no. yeah. and it was just like yeah, well, could be me. Free to go. What? Could That's what I'm saying. I'm going back to jail. <laughs> Get, I guess. Keep me in these cuffs. <laughs> the moment you let me go. I'm killing you. <laughs> Listen, you know you've got you've got a pastor who's like, yeah, I just let it go. Then you got me that's like, mm, I'm gonna try. It so I'm not hard. there yet. Let me get more gray hairs. Then we can talk. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. No. Yeah. Uh, that couldn't be me. I. I Listen. I mean, but then again, he is 60, 60 something years old. Yeah, yeah, he's up there. I mean, I mean, I would hope. I mean, I'm only by 24. then. I would hope at some point in time I let go of all like that trauma. You know. Sometimes, it. like, who is it? Remember Barb? Yes, Barb never lets it go. And Barb is, <laughs> but like she's from 80. New York. She's from yeah. New York. Barb's from New York, but like Barb's like almost eighty years old. Never lets anything fucking go. Well, that's the thing, man. Like you go through so much shit, basically, like mm-hmm. growing up, or mm-hmm. specifically for me, growing up, and it kind of got to a point. And this is, you know, a few years ago, I was like, oh, I'm like a bad person. I, that's what I genuinely felt, and to a certain extent, I still feel that way. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm like a. I'm a bad person. What made you? From what I've yeah. seen in the last what year and a half or two years yeah. I've known you, I don't see that. Yeah. Well, like, that's the thing is, I mean, while I was in college and stuff, you have a good time, right? He's known you for forty five minutes, and he's he knows he can sense that you're not a bad person. Well, that's the thing too. I think there's like a, you know, when somebody goes, "Oh, I'm a bad person," the quick thing to do is like, "No, no, no." no. Like, I mean, console him. unless no, you no, like Trump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, not to get political here, but like, yeah, no it's worries. okay. That's you can so if you want. All right. Well, that's like <laughs> a person. Mind. That's a specific person mm-hmm. that a group of people, a large group of people, would be like, "No, that's 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 a bad person." Yeah, fifty percent. Um, my thing is, like, in college, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, you know, I was going around cheating or anything like that, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I was hot-headed. Um, I held a lot of the things that happened to me real close to my chest mm-hmm. and um, expected yeah. other people to be wronging me. I expected somebody to be trying to do wrong on me. Mm. And that's not, it's very, like, unhealthy, very tiring way to live. And I don't know at what point, but there's just a point, you know, towards the end of my college career where mm-hmm. I was like, you know what, I don't think I'm a good person. I don't like focusing on this mm-hmm. so I was like I really got to kind of figure it out and I think mm-hmm. part of it too is getting together with Ryan I grew up with Ryan oh, oh, uh, fine, yeah man. we played soccer together growing up right. and we split went our separate ways mm-hmm. came back in college and started kind of dating on and off. That right yeah and that was the thing is like he, I'm not saying he's got like a perfect life or he had a perfect mm-hmm. home life mm-hmm. but seeing somebody with a different life from me and seeing how I handle things based mm-hmm. off of what I grew up with right. I was like I need to get it in you check need to... I need to better myself right. for the person I'm with and specifically for me, mm-hmm. worked on it for a few years, and thankfully, you know, some people feel that, you know, I'm at least a decent person from the start. But <laughs> well, yeah, well, because like you walked in, I I just got good energy. Like 
I could just talk to you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it was just like, oh man, Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff too. That was it. That was it. That was it. You know, it was it was pretty. But like, what it what it sounds like to me is like you never committed any like hurtful things against other people. I mean, I'm sure some at some point in your life you always do, right? Right, right, right. right. Um, I, I the simplest part is like growing up mm-hmm. as a kid, you lie. That's right. just a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's times, like, especially going into my high school career, that, like, I lied. Um, very early on, the first change I made going into college was I was like, listen, it's tiring lying. You know, like. Energy. Just, you know, it'll you keep you in check. Lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll keep you in check not, yeah. to, not to lie because yeah. you're going to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Or you're at least just going to be straightforward about it. And if something bad happens, you just take it on the chin. You chain, just take it going. on the chin. Facts. But um, that was, like, kind of the first change where I was like, oh, shit. Like, I don't have to be, like, continuing a cycle. A cycle. Because that's what they say. It's like, you know, you grow up and you continue your family Mm -hmm. cycle. Mm -hmm. That's where I was like, oh, okay. So, like, I'm going to be the one to break it. All right, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, like, you know, what I'm talking about. Um, You don't have to necessarily be, like, you know, serial cheater or, like. Yeah. Right, like, do the most evil shit. Right, right. And it just, life is not so black and white, I guess. And that's that's something I definitely learned. And trying to. Because, like, from, right. from my frame of reference, I feel like when you say I'm a bad person, like, like for me, lying's not going to hurt me unless it really hurts me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, calling me a name or whatever, talking, calling me out of my name, it's not going to hurt me because I know who it, I yeah, am, yeah. you know, at the end mm-hmm. of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, for me, there's always that leeway, that leniency I I give others, you know, where it's like... As long as you're not hurting me or hurting other people. Yeah. You know, whether it's physically or emotionally or mentally. Or mentally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider you a bad person. You know, to me. To me. Because, like, I just met and you that, today. Yeah, and I've known you for two years. Right. So. I, you know, because I just met you today. So, like, I always afford everyone that, that you know, uh, extra room, like, because I know what I've done in my life. I know who I, like, because I've done some very bad things. And it's like... He just hasn't got caught yet. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop it's not playing. bad if you haven't got yeah, caught. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop playing. Oh, man. But, like, people are going to think murder. People <laughs> are <laughs> like, this guy deserves 14 years. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. That's why he was so uncomfortable yep. last week. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. He's like, damn. They're going to catch my ass. Yeah. But, no, like, that's the thing is, like, you know, everybody's concept is have you hurt others? Mm-hmm. Have you hurt yourself? that then you're not a bad person but that's the thing is like what i felt like i was doing was hurting myself was hurting or myself. you know like allowing myself to just kind of i mean in college you, you have the ability to kind of like not necessarily sleep around but mm-hmm. like talk to different people right, talk right. to different people at a time i was very open about it <laughs> but like for me i was like you know what this is not right for me it's just kind of toxic i was yeah, like, I, like I need to like too. figure it out i need right. to just kind of turn my own way and i <laughs> felt myself just being very like if I was with somebody just being very jealous or being very um scared and angry all the time Um, and like you afford me the ability to be like okay you're a nice person until you prove you're not right exactly for me at least in college and in high school was very much so like everybody's going to hurt me everybody's out to get me and unfortunately Mm -hmm. growing up or at least like my first couple years of childhood going into high school that was the case most people were probably so you automatically afraid. put it in your mind that they're well, gonna hurt you before yeah, they yeah. hurt you. If you think about it, high school, it's fucking evil. Yeah, it is. The crazy thing was, and like, <laughs> well, not to like just go back into it. You guys are gonna have me on probably a couple times the way I talk. But oh yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> as long as it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> if it bombs, you'd be like, hey. Oh man, man. Nah, yeah, we're gonna have to cut you because we got a lot of people coming yeah. back for the third time. So <laughs> but um, no, I mean that's the crazy thing is like, in, at least in high school, I was okay. You know, I, kids are kids, but my class was pretty chill. Um, it was adults. And that's the crazy thing is like having adults be that way. You kind of are like, so this is what it's like. So this, this is, is what life. it's like, right? Um, and you know, I could sit here and be like, that's why I did these things, or that's why I felt the way I did. In reality, yeah, probably, but you don't think of it at the time. You just right. kind of do what you're doing. You just do, yeah. And that's the thing is, it was a lot of self reflecting. I don't know when, why, how I started doing it. Twenty twenty. Not even no? earlier. Okay. Yeah, definitely earlier. I mean. If, you, if I was like, let's put a time to it. I mean, like, I had a best friend die, um, unfortunately, and, okay. and that was, like, pretty huge. Right. Obviously, we didn't expect it to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And I think it was just a lot of like me reflecting on where he got me and how he inspired me. Like uh, I've been in, I was in band, like, like marching band. <laughs> but I was in marching band. So does my brother. That's what I'm talking he about. still has his drum set. That's what I'm talking about. Are you like a ska person? Who? Are you like a ska person? What is that? You know, ska? Like yeah, like the like the band like, what is it called? The um, oh, I can't think of it. It's like uh, the type of music. You ever heard of ska? Oh, it's your beanie you're wearing, like the orange beanie. You gave him off ska vibes. It's like uh, it's kind of like it's got. I don't know how to explain it. Now I'm putting myself on black. No, 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 no. People, yeah, what it is. People that like listen to ska are gonna be like, she don't even know what it is. She don't even it's know. kind of like uh, it definitely has like a lot of trombones and brass. Hang on, I'm looking it up. Mm, hold on, let's see if you got if you ska got music. Probably got any Wi-Fi. Hold on. But um, yeah, I was in like marching band and stuff. So he's the one that got me into it. My friend that passed, and I think kind of reflecting on that slowly brings you into the process mm-hmm. of like reflecting on the rest of your life and right. learning more about yourself That's so facts. that kind of thing how the hell you share life I'll like be that? honest I don't even think it's gonna make a difference no because she wants to look up the music but oh she doesn't have signal oh no no the the signal of the wi-fi that's what I meant that's what I meant, because, you know, there's wi Well, if she has Spotify or anything like that, she can just go straight on there and just look for that a specific ska music. Dookie. Yeah, I, I want to... But, yeah, he played, he played the drums. That's pretty dope. It, it's, yeah. it's percussion, per, sir. Percu- yeah, it sorry, is. sorry. Per- I, wasn't, I apologize. But you, like, accept it as yeah, soon as anyone yeah. says it. Yeah, like, oh, you play yeah. the drums, yeah. <laughs> you know like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm making it seem basic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh... Science. But, yeah, no, um... Obviously, I did brass, so everybody's like, so you played the tuba. Or the you tuba. <laughs> right! I'm or like, you played the trumpet, trumpet, and you're like, yeah, somewhere in between. Something there. like that, yeah. Like, in, in there somewhere. But, um, <laughs> all right, so it says Ska's music genre originated in Jamaica in the late 1950s, a r- uh, precursor to rock, steady, and reggae. It combines okay. elements of Caribbean mento and calypso with American jazz and rhythm and blues. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, got a, it's characterized by a walking bass accented with ryth- rhythms on the offbeat. Not for everybody. Mm. I think there's some great, oh, great parts me, I'm, in there. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a music head. Oh, uh, so. yeah, pull your phone. I'm a music head. It pulls the, it, make, it makes it static. Oh, that's static. That's yeah. probably me. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's probably me. But yeah, like, I'm a music head. So if you have any mm-hmm. after this, uh, you want to recommend me? Probably not, to? but you could just. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I literally, like, I'll, I'm the type that listens to music where, like, you just kind of pick something and you're like, Go all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen yeah. to the whole playlist, find mm-hmm. what you like. And yeah. Yeah. And that's so, what it is. Yeah. yeah. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah. So, like, do you still continue with, like, music or anything? Like, no. when's the uh, last time you picked up an instrument? Oh, my God. I guess 2018. Yeah, I did. So, went through high school, did high school band. Went through college, did college. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did, do you know what DCI is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I did DCI in, indoor. Can you guys explain Ooh. that to me? Who, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a noob, like, I'm a noob. It's like a NFL for bands. Yeah. Oh, okay. Competitive, like. Oh, cool. But yeah, yeah, I remember I used to go to some of your mm-hmm. uh, yeah. the, the events. And yeah, it, it's just like the best of the best. Not to say that I'm the best no, of the best. No, it's the best but... of the best. <laughs> it's the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say toot, toot your horn. That's the best yeah, of the best. Yeah, okay. But, um, That's, up there. That's I did, awesome. I did two years of DCI. Oh, and then cool I did beans. three years of indoor. Indoor, nice. I did indoor percussion, mm-hmm. but I was just a dancer. I just did visuals and stuff okay. like that. So okay. last time I picked one up was 2018. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so. You still think you got it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, At least you're honest. All throughout, you know, my entire, I guess, career with music, I was always visually, mm-hmm. uh, I guess, adept or inept. Um could not I, I wasn't you weren't very, reading I, no i can i can okay, read music can read. Mm. i i guess if you're gonna say like compared to like a normal human being <laughs> uh, like i guess you'd say i'm pretty good but i i mean in the music world i'm sh- i'm shit oh like right. i'm bad oh, yeah, musically yeah, yeah. um but my biggest thing and i guess it kind of shows in, like when i'm at work mm-hmm. is uh I've, I've kind of followed the mentality of like nobody will outwork me i will yes. i will be the hardest worker in and out mm-hmm. um and I think that's why I got as far as I did. Is mm-hmm. I, I wasn't a good music musician, I guess, but I was always a good worker, and I could visually learn very quickly. I had rhythm. Um, I could learn a visual, and I would figure it out. Figure and it out, I tried right. to be creative in that <laughs> sense. So I think that's what kind of did it, and, I mean, it's paid off in work. You yeah, know? for sure. Um, being for sure, known as, sure. like, a hard worker is, is important. Tell them. Oh. Tell them. Tell them. 
Let them know. What? Shout out, Matt. Matt, money shot. Shout out, money, money shot, shot Matt. Matt. Congrats Matt on it. I told him. I told him. What did you say? Stripper names? We all got stripper names. Got stripper names. Bro, money shot Matt. That, that's... That's a step above stripper name. <laughs> uh, that's because that's because Matt believes in like but uh, OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Feet yeah. pics on OnlyFans. That, <laughs> I told him I'd give him a sub, but I I ain't watching. No, content. no, it's not you like, sub. I, I ain't giving him no no. Do you uh, like creamy peanut butter or crunchy? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be this man dipping out. his feet in <laughs> crunchy no, peanut no, butter. No, all he has to do is put on uh, nail polish, and they'll think it's a female uh, foot, bro. <laughs> you know that's that's how they be finessing people. Yeah. Listen, have you heard about these women and how much money they make? Oh, it's nuts. Listen, they make insane. It's nuts. Look, I was like, man, if I could, I would. Definitely don't think. The thing is, is like. But that's the thing. Like, you don't even have to go extreme. But that's the thing. I, I don't know how they do it, right? Yeah. It's like, there's no way in hell that that many people are like, just, yeah, like, I'm just going to upload my feet. I'm going to make three, four hundred dollars. There's no, there, I can't believe there's that many feet hungry men, I it's guess. It's a lot. Oh, and a women. Lot. But it's I, a lot. It's I can't a lot. imagine. More men. More men. Yeah. <laughs> I think more in men. any fetish community. It's yeah. Like, like there's a, men. honestly, there's a fetish. But men are the majority. Anything. Let's be honest. <laughs> it was like, it was like, what was it? I was on Twitter and there was something trending. And you know, sometimes Twitter doesn't filter their trends. So I clicked on it and there was just a whole bunch of like fucking X-rated shit. And there was one where, cause I'm a, I'm also on art Twitter, cause I make art and stuff like that. Oh, so you definitely seen extra. So I've seen like crazy seen shit, yo. I, I the other day I found out what Vore was, and I was just like, no idea. What? I have no idea. Thank God I don't know what that is. I was like, I'm not gonna describe it, but if anyone else wants to Google Vore, clear your browser history after. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, like that that's what confuses me with that stuff cuz it's like where you see um where it's like, "Oh, I'm a top 0.1% creator." Mm -hmm. Well, that's like with everyone. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's a top 1% 0.1%. Yeah, no like, I don't know that. how that works, but one thing that I I've, I've seen really kind of happen is the whole scamming out of that. Mm -hmm. Where like some some individual or like a scam group, you know, some shadow fucking Shadow government. <laughs> Some shadow org, you know. Call shadow organization. <laughs> yeah. Right. Listen, there's lizard people. Yeah. I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Call I don't Lord. actually believe in lizard people. Are you sure? They I, could be real. Listen, I don't believe in lizard people. Illuminati? Absolutely. I don't oh, know yeah. Beyonce. Well, I guess Beyonce. If there was Illuminati. LeBron James. Beyonce's Beyonce. definitely in it. But I also Disguised as lizard people. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. They tried to say Justin Bieber was a lizard person. I was like, JB, no. Two people you can't, three people you cannot deny are lizard people. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. and Elon Musk. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. They Bro, mean, like, the, you just look at their face and they're processing human emotions. Listen, my thing is like with those three, you know that like they've got kids, right? Yeah. Hello, so you kids. know, So you know like. They at least have like done the act to have those kids. Yeah. But somehow, artificial you look at insemination. Them, dude, you look at them and you're like, "There's no way." Test two babies. You're like, "There's no Yo. way in hell." Yeah. But come on, anybody like, got let's one be for them. Real. Nah, they invented the machine let's to have the kids. <laughs> let's be for. If it was like a billionaire. No, um, not them. It's not enough. No. Nope. It's not enough. You gotta be a part of the point zero 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 one percent. That's no. the ones that are going to Mars. They, listen, they are those people. Yeah. It's not enough. I wouldn't have a child with them. I wouldn't even. No, I couldn't be in the but same that's room. That's like generational security right there. Yeah. Oh well. You could do more. art IV. Oh well. No. What if it was a test tube? What if you just no, grew man. that motherfucker? Listen, you gotta have morals, man. You gotta have morals. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to convince you. I'll just clone him. What? What you mean? No, man. Listen, I couldn't allow myself. Did to... you see? Did you... Sorry. Go ahead. No, I just feel like they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh, somebody said something bad about me on this podcast. I'm gonna. Go after them, sue them. But listen, in all honesty, yeah, you could say like, oh, you know, it's a lot of money. You wouldn't have to do much. Yeah. But I just think, in my own sense, that they're like pretty terrible people. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, of absolutely. course. You. And if I went down as a poor person, that you know, my family's gonna be just as poor as we are now. Oh well, fine. But like, oh. to secure the bag and then be known as like one of the Bezos wives or like one of the well, here's the Musk's thing. girlfriends. I was like, nah, I'm good. You only know the main ones. 
You don't know the side ones. I don't want to. Because she probably, he probably, pay, they probably pay him they, off. They're getting paid. They ain't paying him enough. They're getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, what was it? Uh, Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of his coworkers had a kid with her. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. That's, that's wild. crazy. There's like one main rule, and he was like, nah, it doesn't apply. To I me. don't apply to me. What you mean? I can just buy this company out. <laughs> you try to sue me? I'll buy the company. I'll buy. I'll yeah. buy you. I'll buy your family. <laughs> it's an insane. Like it's crazy. Mental. Like they are just on a complete. They're living a complete. It's a different, different world. Life. Yeah. Why do you think they want to go to space? They've already. They already own ninety percent of the shit on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go to space. Are, man, what are they doing with this? Let's own yeah. Mars. I'll tell you what, though. Bezos has a chokehold on everybody. Tesla's, like, here and there, you know. Everybody's like, oh, I want a Tesla. But, like, that's about it, right? Uh, Zuckerberg you mean Elon. is trying to do, like, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elon's trying to do, like, Tesla. And they're like, oh, blah, blah. Zuckerberg's, like, meta. And everybody's like, that looks terrible. That's and that's, awesome. Yeah, that's, but I'm going to keep literally... pushing it because Facebook is dying. <laughs> you want me yeah, to do yeah, yeah. all real life shit, but digitally. And I and, can enjoy it. And it's straight up, like, what you expect from Apocalypse. You're like, I've seen three movies. Yeah, this. absolutely. 100%. We're headed towards Ready Player One. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Meanwhile... Bezos is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna look like that terrible little, like you know, villain. Fuck it. Meanwhile, everybody's like, Ooh, Christmas coming up. <laughs> Lex Luthor. I got with like, his dick <laughs> rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man. Yeah, but yeah. like, for me, I think, I think Elon's winning the game. Oh, he is. Only reason why I think so is because one, he has his whole global internet with Starlink. Uh, he has Tesla. He SpaceX. Has SpaceX. He's building the town he in has Texas. PayPal. He has. Well, he's building the 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 autonomous town in Texas. Oh yeah, that future city. So yeah. it's like a space based Texas or some shit. Space based. It's Texas. so wild. Yeah. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. Everybody drives themselves. How do you feel about that? Where do where do you expect us to be in like five years? Are you ready for any of this? No. Bullshit. They keep advertising us, man. Listen, I. Respectfully, not respectfully. <laughs> I, I don't give a shit about advancements. I don't. What did I he think say? It. What did he say? Yeah, it's so controversial, but I think we should focus on the fact that, like, our planet's dying. Yep. Right. I mean, like, it's insane how quickly it's happened. I mean, growing up, you kind of heard about it. Mm. Like, as a kid, you kind of hear right. about it. Your parents kind of talk yeah. about it. Yeah. But it didn't seem like, at least when I was a kid, mm-hmm. like, everybody was like, oh, we gonna die. And it always, like, even when you saw it in movies, it always just seemed like some dramatic, yeah. oh, they're overblowing yeah. it type boom. And yeah. now look at us. Europe had their hottest day of hottest the year. Day. There's uh, rivers drying up. Yangtze River. We uh, haven't had a hurricane. We haven't And had it's a been a hurricane it's season. Mudslides. Mudslides everywhere. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you're like, oh, my God, like, I don't know if my grandkids are going to make it. And, of course, like, yeah, you know, people true. are like, oh, no, it's farther and farther away. But, man... Not. Like just listen it's to your here. scientists. I it's mean, here. that might I can't believe it's like a controversial thing nowadays. But it's like, still just weird. listen to your scientists and the fact that like all the way back in what the sixties, seventies, they were like, hey, they've man, been like, talking about this. We're yeah. gonna yeah. die, yeah. and our freaking government was like, ah, we can wait. We can wait. We can wait. Push Not it too late. To the listen, side. when yeah. they say they pulled up the ladder on us, mm-hmm. they really did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's just one of those things. Like, I don't really care about our advancements. I don't care about meta. I don't care about living in an al- like you know an alternate universe. I don't care about living on Mars. I yeah. care about now. I care about right now. And because if I care about right now, you know, it might seem selfish. Kind no, of. Well, it's not because you gotta look at you gotta look at. But it this that's way. the thing is like you know it sounds to be like I care about right now is the same thing as what they were doing sixty years ago, but mm. it's in a different, different way, way where yeah. it's like I want my grandkids to be able to live on Earth. I want animals to be able to. Survive, survive, not go right? And and I feel like their whole fallback on that is ah, science will figure it out. Well, because yeah, oh, we'll, we'll fly, yeah. somewhere. we'll fly somewhere. Or well, again, too, it's not even us that's going to be leaving this planet when it does happen. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the rich. That's so in the next leave. century. Yeah, well, I, I get that, but I'm just, okay. I'm just saying that the, when it is, yeah. it's going to be the ultra rich. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna, it's Beyonce gonna, might be able to get on there because it's Beyonce, but that's about it. Yeah, that's yeah. Fact. Come on, bro, Martian Beyonce, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that. I want to hear yeah. that. Her doing the uh uh oh on Mars. Listen, I think she's onto something. She just released that new album. Album. I'm like that sounds like Mars Yonsei. Yeah, it does. It does. What was what is it uh, called again? Uh, I don't know. But she got that Alien Superstar song. I was like, Ooh. I heard they were giving her shit about it, cause like. Oh, uh, cause she used uh, spasm. Spasm. Spaz. How do you feel about that? Like so, like. Cause I've always used that word. I never attributed yeah. it to like uh, uh, 
a person. Like a slur or something like that. Or now derogatory they're trying, Now they're trying to term, make it. Like, like, so I guess my thing is, like, I don't have... Like, so, like, it's the same thing as, like, I can't say, like, the N-word is a slur. It definitely is. Right. But that has to come from black people mm-hmm. deciding, I don't want that you word being used, right. associated. Mm-hmm. In the same way, like, I'm not somebody that has mental, like, you know, I guess a mental deficit or just a, a special specialty and um, they're not neurotypical, I guess. Yeah. I can't say, like, oh, yeah, that's not a slur. If they think it is, mm-hmm. then it is. I think it's definitely a case-by-case basis for right. different people. But is it them that brought up that case or is it is it is it because somebody yeah. had a touchy feeling about and it? And that's the thing. I'm not 100% sure. I okay. just know that, like the right way to go about it and it doesn't really hurt anybody is kind of how Yonsei went about it. Just yeah. being like, hey, I didn't know. Sorry. I changed it. Take it away. And then everybody's like, cool. I'm, I'm Gooch. Yeah. Um, Gucci. Gooch. Sorry. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tank. Don't worry. Oh, straight tank. <laughs> straight tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's God. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, like I'm not somebody that's comfortable like using the R word. That's obviously you know, in its inception is meant to like be derogatory mm-hmm. towards another person. Mm-hmm. I'm not using the R word. If somebody else says it, I might be like, hey man, maybe chill. Maybe maybe use another word. Right. But um, because I mean, there's so many words nowadays, and like when somebody goes like, oh my god, another thing that we can't say, and I'm like, yeah, you just use another word. Unless like, <laughs> unless like that's just not right. Like, Language evolves. You know, yeah, I'm like, if your education is not there for it. Make up a new word. Make like, a new word. That's fact. English language always changes, yeah, bro. We're speaking in memes now. You look at a meme and you already know what the I mean, hell. listen up. You, 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 yeah. You know, Everybody's 30 like, years I, from now, we just saying a whole bunch of catchphrases. <laughs> just saying, seven year olds are like, I don't, I don't know. Like Sheesh. Bro, that'd be <laughs> dumb, man. You know, I, I heard that people were like, oh, it's basically like going back to the hieroglyphics. I was like, you absolutely right. That's what I said. Yeah. Because yeah. right. yeah. like, we spoke in pictures like back in the, like even till today right like because we always attribute like mandarin as another form of like uh, language but mm-hmm. if you break it down mandarin is just independent symbols mm-hmm. combined together to make a bigger symbol yeah exactly. and you just understand what it means you know what i'm saying so i it's mean just... if you're trying to get meta uh that's the alphabet yeah yeah that's it's the, the alphabet, alphabet basically yeah. Yeah. yeah we went oh that's a ah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's facts that's right, but like speaking in pictures, that's awesome. Listen, well, that's fucking awesome. Jesus, I, I think that was an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. In Florida, well, it's like uh, today at work when I found out that they changed the the Redskins football team because to Washington to Washington State. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it was even the Redskins said that we didn't ask for it. They said they don't care if they, they use that name, but mm-hmm. apparently it was voted on and they changed the name. I'm like, are you serious? They're like, yeah, this was two years ago. I'm like, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was a while. Listen. If, if you're the team with that name and you're like, hey, we feel uncomfortable with this, even if, like, the people are like, yeah, we chill with it. We chill. If you're like, hey, I'm uncomfortable with it, yeah, absolutely. Right. You own the you're franchise. You're on the team, Go right. Ahead. That's fair. I don't know if Washington State football team <laughs> yes! is <laughs> <laughs> It's whack. It's whack. You it's so whack. Any, they got all, like, any name you could Any and every name, yeah. yeah. They got big ass W on the side. They, they, they even said that the colors are, are trash, too. It, it's not the same colors? They, no, they changed the colors, too. Well, because it was red and yellow. It was mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that is like I guess, historically. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I don't mind having to tiptoe. I guess I was actually yeah. thinking about that the other day. Like, oh, okay, I tiptoe, whatever. Um, I'm in a privileged state where being a white passing white person. Mm-hmm. But don't like, you say nothing. You gonna get me canceled? <laughs> don't you say? But nothing. like, at what point do we get to where it's like too much? Right. Yeah. Because it's like, what ends up happening, what I've seen throughout human history, Mm -hmm. is when there's an issue, we don't fix it, we overcorrect. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's the thing, too, is I I can't give you specific examples, I guess, so it's not really going to help. But I think there's times where there's a general consensus where everybody goes like, yeah, that's too much. You know what? I have one. Uh, I was on TikTok. TikTok. Shout out TikTok. 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 If you're looking for an addiction, TikTok. Oh, man. They got into the series. algorithm. Uh, every, you, you guys know Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Charlie's Angel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drew Barrymore had like a really rough upbringing. She was like, you know, an alcoholic at 13. I mean, she had it rough. Because she started early. She E.T. Char- yeah, she was a child star. Wow. 
So um, a lot of like what she's doing nowadays is kind of being free, being her own person. And mm-hmm. she has a TikTok she posted where she was the rain. crying in the rain. She oh my god! So excited, and it's like it's cheesy if you Bruh. haven't gone through that. You but, saw it right. And then that black woman comes on and yeah. talks about that's what I'm talking about. oppression oh, of bruh. black people. I was like, about. wait, bruh, motherfuckers can't sing in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm what talking is, about. Because you're taking away from all the black. Hey, yo, content. what the fuck? <laughs> that's wild. You're taking man. away from all the black content creators. What does that have to do with anything? That's crazy. That was a wild yeah. tangent. Well, that was wild. <laughs> Apparently she had a video where she was like talking about the rain or whatever. Whatever. What the fuck? But that's what I'm talking about. It's that overcorrection where like that's a lot. And even though it's coming from a person in that community, you have the majority of the community that's like, hey man, chill out. Chill. Like, yeah, oh, like yeah. way too You're much. You're going overboard. Right? Yeah. And I think that's kind of what happens is in a way, I mean, I guess it might just be trying to be hopeful, but I would hope that we like learn to correct ourselves from overcorrection, mm, you yeah. know? That's um nice. You can, at, at the end of the day, it's that question of, are we inherently good? Are we inherently, are inherently evil? evil? Yeah. I mean, if you can try to tell me Drew Barrymore is an inherently evil, evil person, person and she was trying to be, like, racist by that, enjoying Yeah, the but enjoy the, the, oh, that's a, that's a That's canyon. a stretch. That's like, a stretch. That's a yeah. leap, yo. That yeah. is a huge My leap. My goodness. Yeah. And I'm okay if we sit there and I lost brain cells that, watching like, that video. Aren't a leap, right? right like, right. oh, do we use this word? Do we not use this word? Mm-hmm. Who's allowed to? Yeah. That's fine, you know? We can nitpick that. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. We have however many years left to <laughs> evolve and learn. Who cares, right? Yeah. If you're if you're somebody that doesn't want to be involved in that conversation, you just wait until they figure just it out, either. and then you either right. use it or you don't, or you and don't. then you deal with the consequences either way. Right. Yeah, of course. At the end of the day, although we hate racists, uh, they're gonna use what they want to use, right. and they got the consequences. Right. Yeah. You, you get punched in the face, you don't. You don't. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just it's just shit. You like just that. gotta, like you say, accept the consequences that come with whatever you do. Mm-hmm. With, with that, with a cause, there's always an effect. So, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. But. That's the thing. It is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. Yes, ma'am. So, I see you're wearing your EMS shirt. Yeah, yeah. What's, um, what's going on? What's going on with that? Yeah, so um, I moved to Fort Myers, like, what, two years ago? 2020? I'm sorry. Hashtag From COVID. Pensacola. Did you say half? No. Did no. you just say Pensacola? Pensacola? <laughs> Where'd you? Oh, wait. No, so I grew up in Port Charlotte. Oh, Port I grew Why up, did I say Pins- No. Just to, just to triangulate myself a little bit more. I, I just, hey, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? I grew up in Port Charlotte, but I went to school in Tampa. I went to USF. Yeah, okay, go Bulls. Okay, go Bulls. Yeah. Is it this? Yeah, yeah this is this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go Bulls. Um, although at heart, I'm probably a Knights fan. I love UCF. Okay, UCF. Yeah, I right. spent a lot of time in Orlando, but... um. Yeah, I, I went to Tampa for school and then came back down to Fort Myers so that my boyfriend could go to school. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I got down here, so I was originally going to go in the FBI. That was my whole plan going into college. I got my degree in psychology. I'm one class away from my criminology degree. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what's up. That's yeah. what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. 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 Yeah. Uh, Black Lives Matter started to happen mm-hmm. um, right about the time that I was graduating. And... <laughs> Whatever anybody's opinion is on it, I personally felt like I didn't feel comfortable going into government. Law, law enforcement, law government. Enforcement, government. Mm-hmm. Not just for my own safety, because who cares about that? Right. But what was happening. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be associated with an entity that mm-hmm. obviously was taking mm-hmm. lives, whether unjustly or justly, right. in that sense. You're not supposed to be taking a life if you're a law enforcement right. unless you're... It's necessary. It's yeah, necessary. unless absolutely necessary. Mm-hmm. And now that the line is being blurred from what's necessary and what's not... Um, this is just me being absolutely correct, so nobody's attacking y'all, but... Mm. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. No, you're, fine. you're fine. But, um, once that line got blurred, I was like, you know, I don't think this is right. Mm-hmm. I think I need to maybe try something different. Right. So, I took two years, because I was not going to go get my master's in psychology with no idea what I wanted to what do. What you wanted to do. Yeah. Shit's expensive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Can you become like a... So, with the mm-hmm. psychology, you can go into criminal justice, you can do, mm-hmm. uh, what, like... Uh, psychiatry or yeah. some, something so like well psychiatry you have to get a specific degree so I had a bachelor of arts okay Damn. I can be a psychologist to be a psychiatrist you could maybe get in but you do have to go to medical school so it's oh, better to have a bachelor okay. of science okay but it's up you know I obviously didn't go 
to mm-hmm. graduate school, so I'm not 100% certain, but I think you could probably get in. Yeah, for sure. But um, didn't know what I wanted to do, so I was like, you know what, let me take some time, figure it out, because I don't want to spend all this money and now I'm stuck, because the mm-hmm. one thing that I'm proud to say is that I got that. scholarships and I had Florida prepaid, so I didn't pay for college. There I go. got a that's refund and paid off that's my car. There you so. go, that's what's up. But um, was in uh, was working at Publix, figuring it out, and I was like, you know what, I think I want to go into EMS. Nice. Um, I am lucky enough to have two people in my life that I grew up with that were firefighters and paramedics. So I was like, that's, that's kind of, yeah, I wanted to help people. Right. That was the whole point when I wanted to go into, um, when I wanted to be a FBI agent, I either wanted to go into child sex crimes or I wanted to go into um, behavioral analysis, which is technically not like a unit, but mm-hmm. you can be one. Mm-hmm. I wanted to help people. That was the whole thing. Uh, I wanted to be the person that I needed growing up. And EMS, I was like, okay, well, that could be it. I could be a paramedic. I could be what my uncle and my dad were. That's awesome. Um, So I followed school. I did a lot of research because at the end of the day, you're not ever prepared for, like, the trauma that first responders see. You're never prepared. Um, But you can't – I can at least try to prepare as best Mm -hmm. as possible. Just Um, go to, like, lively (laughs) – Look up all the fucking gore and shit. Oh my god! No, because that's that's what happened to my boy, uh, uh, Hunt. Um, he went for EMS and he was doing a ride along, and they pulled up on a really like a fatal car accident, and he just saw a mangled mess on the ground, yeah. and he's like, "Whoa, this is not for me. This ain't yeah. for me." Yeah, and that's that's fully possible. Yeah. I mean, the good thing, quote unquote, good thing is that. Um, if I don't want to do, like, let's say I get an EMS and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh man, like, I can't do this forever. I can take steps. They've got, like, a few steps where you become a paramedic and then you can become a nurse. And, like, they have, like, a little bit of oh, a cool walk, beans. Yeah, okay. a walk way through that. I don't think there's a chance in hell I'll ever be a nurse. <laughs> Shout out to nurses. <laughs> wiping ass. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. It's difficult wiping my own. Why would I do yours? Oh, man. <laughs> wiping Listen, ass. It's bad enough that, like, some of the customers that you, like, encounter want you to wipe their ass. I'm not physically going to do it. No, so. yeah. that's just wild. Um, See, I guess that's something you want us to advance on. Have an ass wiping machine or something like that. No, just wipe your Call it a day. <laughs> just wipe your Just sit ass. in a fucking... Um, I got no arms. What are we going to do sit now? Sit a robot with Listen. a single arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that just makes me think we're part of like Wally with all the people. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. in the, in when the they're chair, so fat, the chair does the, everything yeah, for them. No, I don't want that's, that's too that's much. Yeah, right? different. Either you learn to wipe your own. I mean, I don't know why we're sitting here talking about wiping your own. Hey, hey, but, hey, hey. There are truly yeah. some people. Look, we'll we'll either, get we'll get back to the story. We'll listen, you either story. wipe your own ass or. You find somebody that loves you enough, doesn't have to be a significant other, could be a, a brother, could mm. be a, a cousin, could just be, be a your nurse dog. that you pay, doesn't matter. Your dog. Your, your dog ain't gonna wipe your ass. Bruh, ass. he ain't got thumbs, and he ain't damn sure ain't licking your <laughs> yeah, ass. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, it's you want a dog to lick your no. ass? Is that what you're saying? Yo. <laughs> That's what it sounds like we to me. Into that. Yeah. Like, we get into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jeff, you wanna Pretty talk about saucy. it? <laughs> no. I Jeff. got, I got Make a call. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think it's them Twitter posts, bro. Yeah. They got to me. Oh, She's gonna be something. like, uh, babe, I got it. I got it. They don't lock something leave. in my head. No, I'm gonna start calling like <laughs> freaking the pal and be like, hey, uh. you got any dogs that lick ass? Bro? <laughs> Bruce is looking at me like, <laughs> he's like, I want out. I want yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's wild, bro. man. Yeah, you yeah. gotta find somebody that loves you enough to be willing to do it. Um, <laughs> which is how, listen, it's one of the criteria to knowing if you're ready to get married. If you're willing yes. to wipe that, person's wipe that ass. person's ass. Yeah. That's facts. Still not sure if I'm there with Ryan. <laughs> front the back or back the front? If I had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's but, yeah, go that's ahead. Uh, uh, tell us about the, the EMS. Oh, nothing much. I decided I wanted to do it. Got into school last year. Okay. Uh, fully got in. Had to do, like, this whole process, but mm-hmm. got in. And then um, got hired at the airport. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of a question because you can't really – go to school and do the airport airport. they have like a six month probation period where you can't be late can't call out can't trade shifts you just got to be there Uh, you know grunt work right right so i I held off gave it a year um not to sit here and toot my own horn but i am damn good at that job that's fine don't love it you want to give your two weeks notice on air right now uh i already did (laughs) oh yeah there we go you know why look forward to the 17th you want me you want me to tell them why she got full time 
full time. I am full time at Publix. She's in full time. Yeah, so. Uh, so she's in the Zespo now. Finally, you got that insurance in there. <laughs> well, awesome. thankfully, I pay my own insurance. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, you got that, uh, what is it, uh, on the market mm-hmm. insurance? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did the same. So I got a quick question for you because I knew a stock clerk named Nick that was in um, firefighting and EMT. You mean freaking tall, huge the tall kid. Nick. Yeah, so is, is it a requirement to do both in order? No. No, because apparently... To be like a fireman or an EMT? Because I think he was going for fireman, but uh, he was telling me that he has to take EMT in order to become a fireman. It might be that way for firemen, just because, like, if you're a fireman, you're going to be one of the first on scene. A lot of times, whatever you're doing, you need to have that. I think it depends on the school. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Like, my dad was... My dad was not an EMT. He was a fireman. Okay. But my... Uh, uncle was a fireman paramedic. Paramedic. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I'm not okay. sure. I know at least for EMT school, you can just be an EMT. And you're just doing EMT. Yeah. You don't so like, a yeah, once I, I go through, I'm almost through the process again. Um, <laughs> but once I go through that process, I just go to school to be an EMT. It's about six months. Oh, that's not Plan funny, is man. to like get hired outside of school. Right. Um, <clears throat> work and then also go back for my paramedics license, which is, I think, about a year. Okay. So nice. that's the plan. Nice. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, I that's mean, I up. guess I got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good for hey, your age because a lot of people future. don't know what they want to do at, at your that's age true. or or, or yeah. below. So that's true. Oh, that's really good. Uh, and I know Publix provides uh, tuition reimbursement mm. as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you end up having any out of pocket expenses, oh, you know I do. It's so college. you yeah. So you have tuition reimbursement. Well, even if she didn't pay for it, even if she did pay for it, she'd still get paid. The Biden thing. Yeah, they well, they take ten thousand dollars. Well, that's the thing is, I think you had to have that established but, as of twenty twenty before COVID. Oh, uh, so, yeah. so it's like it's not like a. Uh, yeah, if you've had it within the last two years, I don't think it counts. But if you've had it damn. before the last two years, they will. Although you know they could keep going. I don't right, know. that's what I'm saying. I ain't got a problem with that. But um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna look into it obviously because <clears throat> college is not cheap for oh, this. Yeah. Uh, for the six months, it's four grand um because i was already going through the process i think it's a little cheaper for me i think i'm at like three but it's still expensive um i'm gonna look into it but a lot of places is like how does it help us you know Mm -hmm. um i could tell Publix like hey you'll have a emt on staff for like a (laughs) a day a week i mean certified that's you true. can use the AED. Yeah, with I mean the amount of people that I mean I could use an AED now because oh, yeah. yeah you have to be CPR certified when you go into school you yeah. already have to have it. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, okay. but I mean yeah with the amount of like elderly shout out old people uh, mm-hmm. that live in Florida at any point in time mm-hmm. you know but, yeah Jeez, so that's what I, that's what I'm doing I'm going back into e, uh, EMF I'm going back to school I guess um, I am very excited about it that's obviously yeah. i'm trying to like keep myself in check mm-hmm. understand that right. there's no way i'm prepared but get your shit in order yeah, and all that. yeah. but i am yeah. excited i'm very excited talked to my dad the other day about it because you know he, he's been a part of that unfortunately my uncle passed mm. um my condolences oh man it was like a couple years ago but um was it doing the job or no what? no, oh, no his wife killed him <laughs> what did he say <laughs> That was deep. Welcome to Table Talk. Topics, Welcome. the crime drama. Welcome. Um, wow. That was unexpected. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that is that something you can... Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Everybody always asks. Wow. Yeah, okay, everybody yeah. asks. Holy shit, Biscuits. Oh, wow. Oh, that's different. That's deep. Yeah, that's deep. That's deep. I know. I so know. how'd that... I take a drink of my water. How'd that happen? <laughs> yeah, take, take us. Yeah. My little... Uh, Gulp. Every, the little lean in everything. <laughs> um, no, so my my uncle uh, Sam Dreer, shout out Sam Dreer. He was a firefighter paramedic. He was married. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, he found out one day that she was cheating on him. Because I guess I guess technically, let me put it out there, disclaimer. Technically, she didn't kill him. But the fact that there's a technically there already tells you right. that she did. So it's um, like OJ. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there technically because she didn't get <laughs> tried for it. So. Yeah, well, we'll get into it. Okay. So, uh, he's a firefighter, uh, paramedic, um, found out she was cheating on him one day, asked for a divorce. He was, she was cheating on him with a young kid, had been dating somebody for like four years. Damn. Uh, yeah, something like that. And of course, I was young at the time, so facts mm, are here and there. Right. But according to the documentaries and according to family, she'd been dating somebody for like four years. Um, he asked for divorce. 
obviously, they're going through the divorce process. He met somebody during that divorce process. He um, started dating somebody. So he spent a lot of time with her. I guess my aunt had this whole, if I can't have him, nobody can mentality. Damn. So her and... Uh, the new boyfriend. Her and the new boyfriend started stalking them. Um, her boyfriend, like showed up and said he was like a plumber or something like that or an electrician tried to get in the apartment the girl didn't let him in pointed him out to my uncle at the time my uncle didn't know who he was he hadn't seen him yet um at some point they broke in they i can say that because they, they did get tried for that they broke in stole some stuff so they've been like in the apartment mm-hmm. scoping out everything like that um found some texts where like she had bought him the gun she had they were, she kept telling him like oh he's abusive and like you know nobody's ever like a part of another person's right. life yeah. but i can say with 100 percent certainty like my uncle was not an abusive person right. he was very like protective of us um mm-hmm. they didn't have any kids but he saw my sisters and i as kids like mm-hmm. as his kids so he was very protective very you know um worship a woman kind of thing um but yeah so she she was kind of feeding this lie to her boyfriend at the time he was young and so he's gonna eat it up yeah he wants so to, she uh, like was making comments like we're gonna get him like i can't like you know kill that mf or and wow. stuff um i guess at some point one po- at some point you know um the kid had left his shoes or something at my uncle's house it's kind of a disrespectful thing to do. Fuck, yeah, yeah so my uncle was just like hey i'm not trying to fight him i'm not trying to do anything crazy i just want to talk to him i want to meet this person you know this is the person your wife has been cheating on you with for four years for four mm-hmm. years yeah. um he took the boots went to his girlfriend's house my aunt gave the guy the address the key well i mean he already had it because they had been stalking mm-hmm. gave him the key to the car he went broke into the car my uncle came downstairs was like hey man what's going on like what's up because he doesn't know kid turned around pulled a gun my uncle turned to run he shot him seven times in the back Damn. Seven times in the back. Uh, cops were called. The kid stayed. He stayed. Wow. Immediately said he was the one that did it. Um, got on the ground. Was arrested. Um, he would not give her up, even though they found the texts. They wow. knew that she bought the gun. Everything. Would not give her up. Um, he ended up getting 30 years. He got 30 years. She got tried for, like I think, five years for the uh, breaking in. Breaking in, yeah. But they wouldn't try her because they were like, if we do it and she gets off, it's double jeopardy. It's we'll double jeopardy, right. Again. But, um, yeah, and all that started to come. I mean, we didn't even know she was cheating on him. We didn't know there was a, at least we, like, as in me <laughs> and the rest of the family, didn't know there was a divorce going on. Uh, we just got a call one night, like, hey, we need you to come to the hospital. Uh, found out, like, the next day that he had been shot and, like, he died. Wow. Yeah. Um, they did give him an in, like a, what is it, in line of duty mm-hmm. funeral, yeah. which was insane. That's I mean, fire. I've never yeah. seen so many so. Uh, paramedics and firefighters wow. there. And that was really beautiful, really heartbreaking. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that started to come out a few weeks later. So, Danielle, if you're ever listening to this, fuck you. Wow. Excuse my language. But fuck you, Danielle. <laughs> fuck you, Danielle. <laughs> fuck you, Danielle. Fuck yeah. you, Danielle. Wow. So, once again, allegedly. She didn't kill him, but... So she manipulated this kid into... Yeah, he was 20. Yeah, pulling the trigger. He was 20 years old. He didn't even have a uh, tracking ticket. Mm-hmm. Had never done it. Had yeah. no prior, prior record. record. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So she manipulated the kid into yeah. doing her dirt. Because the wow. gun is registered in her name, but if somebody else uses it, then technically... Yeah. Didn't, yeah. yeah. And I mean, even despite <clears throat> that, like, why would this kid shoot somebody and kill him okay. when they were already getting a divorce? Yeah. Like, what would be the point? What's the point, right? Unless she just wanted to have dead. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this bitch, excuse my language, this bitch showed up at the funeral. Yeah, she was at the funeral. She was Please tell me at the I'll wake. Stop her out. I'll fight back. I'll fight so, back. when we first found out about it, um, we she first told my aunt at the hospital that it was her boyfriend. That's when we found out that she'd been cheating on him. Mm. So throughout the week, little things, little by little, I mean, they didn't even connect like, oh, like, there's something going on. I'm sure the police knew, but they didn't have evidence just yet. Um, So little by little, like, the family was super sus. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, at the funeral, nobody sat with her. There was, like, one cousin that did because, you know, she's holding out hope. Right. Um, But once the funeral was, like, over with, it died down. She ended up dating one of his coworkers. Jesus. Moved him into the house. Jesus. Yeah. Moved him into the house. I mean, just no. Some people are fucking heartless. And she worked at a hospital. 
she worked at a hospital. She yes. was like the financial advisor or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was wild. So that nah, that's wow. that was my first like I was fifteen. So wow. Yeah, that was like that's crazy. Yeah. What did now? Did this make like the news? Like oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, he was well known, like at least in the mm-hmm. Port Charlotte in the area. area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm sure it made like at least Fort Myers news and stuff. For sure. Um, and I mean, there's a Dateline. I think that it's either Dateline or something like that. There's like those episodes. Oh, they on picked it. that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the link. Wow, damn, that's crazy. That's yeah. different, man. Yeah, but that was that was tough. I mean, you see, that's my dad's youngest brother. Right. Seeing that's, him that's go that's through that, brother. and like, unfortunately, after that, like throughout the years, we had a lot of death in the family, a lot of um, just like hardship and stuff. Um, I, I was 15. By the time I was 17, my parents were divorced. Mm-hmm. It was it was really tough during that time. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, like I said, there was a lot going on with other adults in my life other than like my parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just really tur- like turbulent. Tur- turbulent. Uh, so you're just yeah. trying to navigate through all that. Yeah, and that I mean mess. that's the thing is it's kind of like you know, not to get super like deep and metaphorical, but it's kind of like you're drowning. Right. And now I kind of feel like as I'm getting older, I'm coming up. I'm breathing. I've mm-hmm. I've survived it. I've yeah. made it through. And figuring out how do you handle that experience? How do you deal with mm-hmm. those things? Um, but that's why I'm so comfortable talking about like what happened to my uncles because mm-hmm. I just know he was a wonderful person. Um, I owe a lot to him. I owe a lot to how he helped get us through some tough times. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't mind telling this terrible but very interesting story, story because right. it means people know about him. They know yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ryan's aunt knew my uncle. They went to school together. Mm-hmm. Um, she found out like a year ago that like Damn. I that we were like oh really we knew, yeah that okay. they knew each other and that I, that was my uncle. She's like oh my god I remember when he passed and blah 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 and I was like yeah so wow yeah it was wild. That's <laughs> do you feel like you're in a better position now than you were back in the day when you were navigating? In what way? Uh, like mentally. Yeah, like mentally because I know you said mm-hmm. you there's a, other adults in your life your parents divorcing. Yeah, and, most definitely. Yeah, I well the thing is like. At that time, I wasn't trying to, like, navigate. I wasn't Mm -hmm. trying to, like, really do anything. Um, I knew what I was going through wasn't normal, Mm -hmm. you know? Your uncle dying by Mm -hmm. murder is not normal. No, that's not. That's Um, not. But I think on top, like, something that crazy happening, you think everything else is, like, you're like, all right, well, that's at least more normal. More normal. And it's not. Right. It's definitely not. It kind of made you numb to more. Very numb. Yeah. Yeah, I was very numb to a lot of things. Um, because I'm smart, yeah, I'm gonna put that out there. I'm yeah. very smart. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm smart, I knew like this isn't right, or what's going on, or what's happening is not right. But you just kind of suck it up. You take it. Um, you shouldn't do that. That's not what I'm saying. But that's what I did. You yeah. just suck it up. You take it. And then um, I kind of I. You know, 18, I I was 18, I started living on my own, started figuring it out on Mm -hmm, my own. mm -hmm. Um, Thankfully, with the help of, like, some family members, but started, like, figuring it out on my own. And that's kind of where I was like, all right, it's now time to start breaking down walls, figuring it out. Um, And it took me, you know, a few years. Find who you are. Yeah. And I'm not sure I fully figured it out. (laughs) No, I don't don't think you did. Even now, like, I'm still... I'm still not there yet. Yeah, but, I mean, I can at least say I like the person I am. That's good. Yeah, and I think that's a a really big hurdle that most people don't realize they need to go through. Mm -hmm. And it, unfortunately, takes something pretty crazy happening for you to be like, oh, okay, this is what's going on. Right, right. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's what's what's up. That is wild. That is wild. Yeah. It's my... I guess in a morbid way, like my little favorite story. Because you, know, like, <laughs> yeah. you like meet somebody and you're like, oh, what's your story, right, man? Yeah. And then somebody goes like, oh, yeah, like my, my uncle was killed. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Back that up. Back yeah. that train up. Put it in the park. Yeah. I got to hop behind Yo, you. Know? yeah. That's well, what it's I'm like, saying. yeah, like I say, it's like uh, when he told us he got shot and he was pronounced dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro was dead for Bruh. 20 minutes. 30 minutes I don't know, I but, don't know but they yeah. put the sheets over him they put the like sheets that, over so. him he was mm-hmm. gone and and he ended up in the the, the coroner like the morgue the morgue yeah yeah and they came uh they brought his mom to mm-hmm. identify the body and he wakes up. yeah imagine being the people in that room like I get it you died or like you sort of died and then came back that's traumatic but imagine being the people in that room you're like oh this is it 
I'm here to like say goodbye to my son. Like, okay, here I go. And then this man shoots up and is like, "What? It's a zombie, people! It's a zombie! It's a zombie! You shoot them again! It's a zombie! It started! (laughs) It started! Listen, that's insane. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Do you? I don't know. Cause like, normally when, you know, like personally, cause same thing with me. Like when you experience, you know, death around you and mm-hmm. stuff. Do you ever think about, like, do you ever try to uh, understand or understand or death? Or oh, it? don't get me started. Yeah, like that's under- the thing is like, I would say the major thing that I'm still struggling with to this day because I've done a lot of work and I mean I'm not a I'm not a therapist. I've taken. <laughs> A psychology degree but I'm not a therapist and I'm very aware of that but I've done what I can to understand myself and I do, I do plan on one day hopefully seeing a very good therapist and figuring it out especially because of how much I can talk <laughs> definitely you know breaking that stuff down but the one thing that I think I struggle with the most is like having that concept of death because you do in a certain sense mm-hmm. you, you get like there's an end and right. it could be great or it could be horrible horrible um, and it's just a matter of like, to this day, I still struggle. Cause like you just, you'll have it like a normal day, yeah, yeah. go to the gym, hang out, get a good pump. And like in the middle of your set, you'll be like, I'm going to die one day and it could be soon. And you're like, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them intrusive yeah. thoughts, yeah. bro. And, it's, and, and you know, this might be shitty on my part. I'm not thinking like, Oh, what haven't I done? I'm thinking, is it going to be painful? What happens? Because I mean, like I grew up Catholic, um, not shout outing the, <laughs> the like, not the church no not, them. not the Vatican um, oh, but like I have I, I will confidently say I left that church mm. I guess the best way I would describe it is agnostic I would okay. say okay. Um, but I, I'm really still trying to find my way in that case but it's a matter of just kind of like okay well am I just gonna die is that it or right. do I what happens uh, what happens is there a reincarnation right. is there an actual life. Am I going to be conscious that there's an actual life? And that's the that's thing nobody saying. knows. No one knows. Because consciousness is literally your brain. Yeah. Like, yeah. One, once you die, your brain yeah, is... Yeah, I know dying. how we said yeah. you know Consciousness and soul are exact same thing. And that's the thing is, like, with your soul, it's like, okay, well, what, I, what is my soul? Because you don't know what your soul right. is. Yeah. You can look at somebody and be like, oh, they're soulless, but... What is how do you quantify that? Yeah, and like, it just what's the weight? Being matter like is that? energy that cannot be created yeah. or destroyed. Yeah, and, and and that's one way. Like, cause me, like in my search for the answers to like death, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I've gone to science, I've gone to you know spirituality and stuff yeah. like that, and like with science, it's just the idea that you know we're all made of star stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, matter energy can't be created, destroyed, mm-hmm. just transformed. So at the end of the day, once I die. All the energy that it took to, you know, make you make me is also gone. It sounds like that concept. Like, if I was a worm, would you still date me? Would you still date me? Right. But yeah, like that's the thing. Is like, in reality, a hundred percent on a day to day. Mm -hmm. If I go down that spiral of like, I'm gonna die. die. Um, I just go nope. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Just keep going because you know you're not gonna solve it. Yeah, you're you're not. not. And um, you're not. You know, shout out to those people that, I keep saying that, but, like, you know, shout out to those people that, you know, get to an old age and they're like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, I won't be. (laughs) (laughs) Another way that I've tried to, like, rationalize death is, like, the idea of, do you remember anything before you were born? No. Then after you die, it'll... It'll be nothing. It'll be an instant. But I think where I struggle with is with is like the process. You don't like you don't know what it felt like to know you were going to be born. That's you true. know what it's going to feel like to die. To die. Um, you know whether that's quick or whether that's painful. slow and painful. painful right. instant. You know it's going to happen. Right. You know there's uh, I mean not necessarily you could go to you could go to bed and die in your sleep, in your which sleep. everybody is like. Oh, that'd be oh great. yeah, that'd be great. That's but, what they're hoping for. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't like, happening. Yeah. As an adult. You know that, like, the slim chances, unless you're sleeping 24 hours a day, which I pretty much can't. <laughs> it's not happening. That's a lot of sleep. <laughs> oh, man. So, like, I think, I guess, I guess the thing is, like, I'm not afraid of, like, death. I'm afraid of dying. Dying. And that's mm. a really tough thing right. to, like, grasp. Right. And I don't think, I mean, I'm going to say, like, cap on people that really are, like, yeah, I'm ready for death. Because, like, look, I love Ryan with my heart and soul. I will never love somebody as much as I love that man, I 
it might be blasphemous, but he makes me believe in a God. It's, it's one of those things where, like, you can't understand anything other than something else had to have made this happen. And, yep. you know, that could just be like, oh, they're so in love, it's sick, but that's how it that's feels. That's how it feels. Um, and, you know, I've got, like, that little fairy tale story with him. Mm-hmm. Um, but if he died, like, yeah, right now I would be like, yeah, I'd be ready to die. No, I wouldn't. I know myself. Mm-hmm. If I was lying on my deathbed or I just got shot, shout out Uncle Sammy. <laughs> 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 if I got shot and, like, Ryan's dead, I might be like, oh, well, whatever happens, like, I'll see Ryan. I'm like, according to the Christians, there's two places you could go. You can go. I don't right, know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I would yeah. hope. But, like, you know, it's, again, one of those things, like, you don't know. And yeah. I think, you know, if you want to, like, turn into it, that's, I think, one of the reasons people get frustrated or, I guess questionable or like non-religious people get frustrated with religious people is that they have a constant or at least most people specifically catholics have an idea (laughs) i can say that i'm catholic (laughs) (laughs) they have this kind of concept of you know saying this is what's going to happen but you don't know that blind faith yeah it's like absolute they speak in absolute and and that's fantastic that they have that faith yeah i think it's wonderful to have a blind faith um but that's not enough for me. And that's not everybody. Knowing that you're in the same spot I am. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest thing that I've been trying to do, and I keep saying that, I'm really, again, I'm not a perfect person, but one of the things that I try to do to achieve perfection is I want people to know that I'm down to earth. I want them to know that I have flaws and I don't have it figured out. You're human. And I think that's kind of what I look for in others is it's fine if you have the beliefs you have, but to be completely honest, like if I was Christian... And I was like, like, I get, like, yeah, I'm like, in a way, I guess I am. Like, if you told me, what do you believe in? I'm not going to say, like, Hinduism, because I'm still learning about it. I'm still right. learning about their multiple gods. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess, like, when it comes to, like, Christianity and stuff like that, if you believe in that, that's great. But I respect you more to be like, I don't know at the end of the day. I mm-hmm. believe in this. It gives me faith. It gives me um, purpose. Help, purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a way to walk through life. But I respect you being like, hey, as long as you walk through life trying to be the best person you can be, sweet. And I think that's kind of where I started to veer from Catholicism is I had this idea of like, well, as long as I try to be right. a good person, there you go. wouldn't any God, whichever one it is, there accept exactly. me? There you go. No. Yeah. yeah. I always go. say with age comes wisdom. Um, you are still young and us too. We are still learning a lot, and you're I guarantee. Like you're 70 years old. <laughs> and I guarantee, and I guarantee you, when you're 34, looking back now, you're gonna know more than you did. Yeah, I'm gonna hate ago. this conversation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Dude, shut uh, up. I didn't think uh, I'm gonna fucking feel yeah. like this fucking idiot right here. Yeah. <laughs> Same shit. But yeah, you learn as you grow. I'm thinking you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we always think we know, but then we don't actually know. But, but yeah. I think that's like. That's you know, awesome, though. I think the crazy thing when you're like. Nobody, I mean, maybe people do this, but nobody, like, takes that step back and they're like, oh, my God. I guess it's very meta and it's kind of scary, but this mm-hmm. idea of, like, I'm living, I'm in a world, I'm conversing right. with other people. Like, Jeff ha- Jeff's, Jeff has his entire, like, own life. He's the main character in his own life. Mm-hmm. And you have your side stories, and I'm a side story in it. But I have my own life, mm-hmm. and That's I have true. my whole thing going on. So you're the main character in your story, yeah, but I'm the side character. Yeah, yeah, and it's this wild thing of kind of, like... I know you don't know what the hell you're doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But when we're talking on a day-to-day basis, I'm not going to tell you that. Right. Yeah. It's that hyper awareness yeah. yeah, of what's what's going on. And like, I think that. Do you sorry. know, or do you think you know? Right, because like, um, like a, a little bit further back, like Dun. a couple of years back, like I had the issue where, Dun. like I had to lay off of you know um, smoking marijuana and stuff like that because you're going down the rabbit hole. Because I would just spiral. I would deduce everything in my life, my existence, my being, my purpose. Yeah. And like, just... what am I doing? And yeah. it was just like, it always sent me over the deep end. And like, Jeff was always there to keep me grounded. And, you know, as I slowly kind of climbed back out, like, I started finding answers to those questions. They may not be the right answers, but they were but it's answers. Eight answers. It's, it's eight yeah, answers. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's an answer that yeah. would satisfy me until something in Something the new comes up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I think that's the thing, too, is, like, there's a healthiness to wanting to, like, I guess, know more answers to the universe. Mm-hmm. Understand. Um, or, like, you know, normal person's, uh, what is it, um, Q 
can't think of what it's called, but like it's not psychology, but it's like physiology. Physiology. Or yeah. But with that being said, um, it's a terrible road to go down because you can't you can't climb out of it sometimes. Yeah. And I definitely know that. And I think, you know, for anybody that doesn't have depression, that's kind of what it feels like. Mm-hmm. Is this like it's it's a helplessness, mm-hmm. not necessarily sad, but I find solace, I guess, in the idea of knowing that like you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Because I just have found, like, I'm easier on people. I'm not judging people. <laughs> um, and because we lose sight on that, that's a lot of times where you get a lot of judgmental people because they're thinking this person screwed up my order because they're an idiot as opposed to, like, hey, man, like, somebody else wrote it down wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They messed it's it really up. really busy. They didn't mean happy. to do right, it. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think just kind of being and I I always say like oh it's because I'm in customer service I'm never going to get mad at somebody for screwing something up but it's not I'm like they're human they You're didn't want to screw it up we're now, all born ignorant yeah now if you're trying to screw up my order you got an attitude now yeah now we got a process now we got a problem, but <laughs> let's go yeah, oh man that's kind of how I like yeah. to look at it you know yeah. but yeah it goes how, back you gonna, how you gonna like pinpoint the death thing on me because <laughs> like I just want like because because you seem like, you know, you were open to, like, yeah. I can, you have I a lot you. of insight in, in, in this conversation. I, I yeah, wanted, I'm trapped in my mind. 100%. Like, because, okay. You see, you you see why, you see why. Because it's yeah. like some people, we can't just, you just, know. Do you believe in death? Do you believe in, like? how do you deal with death? <laughs> like, this, is why, this is why I can never get worked on. Uh, you know? no. That's the thing. It's like, I even, I made the joke with Jeff. I was like, oh, I'm going to plan for everything. I'm going to, whatever they're going to throw at me, I'm going to be ready for it. But like, you know, that's, you yeah. that's a thing, like such a small thing that is so personal um, and something you keep so close to your chest. And I, one of the things that I kind of grapple with, is it a good thing or a bad thing mm-hmm. is how open I am. You know, there's the idea right. of trauma dumping, just mm-hmm. jumping a bunch of stuff that's happened to you mm-hmm. and calling it, you know, love, love or whatever. Right. And it's not. For me, it's like, hey, this is what I've gone through. Um, this is how I'm trying to figure it out or I'm trying to react Navigate to it. Navigate the world. And, you know, if there's a story of mine that you might take and, like, you have a friend or something that goes through something terrible that's the same, you can at least be like, hey, man, like, how can I help? Or I know somebody that had that. Um mm-hmm. It doesn't do me a disservice by telling somebody something vulnerable. If at the end of the day I tell somebody that tries to use it against me, then okay. Right. But if I give that away and mm-hmm. it does something good, it's worth it. it exactly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. You just kind of have a more well-rounded understanding of who I am, why I do what I do, and why I say what I say. Thanks. You I don't. I don't. I don't know if I do, but I, I try. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, it comes down to not knowing anything about me. Exactly. I can't turn. I can't say in one specific way like. I'm liberal. I can't say in one specific way I'm Christian. Right. Lib dark. Right. It's more. It's more like amorphous. Yeah. You know and that's like, kind of what it feels like. Right. It's like I'm once again going in back to a pool. Like I'm mm-hmm. in this pool of just kind of figuring myself out, yeah. deciding a different way. And uh, you know, I can tell you if you say something to me, like yeah, I agree with it. I don't agree with mm-hmm. it. Or I need to figure it out. Right. And I think that's a. That's been my healthiest way of. of going through life but as you give time. a genuine answer yeah. you don't pretend but that you know and that's the know. answer i never hear a lot from a lot of people mm-hmm. i don't know yeah yeah that's what they always say if you genuinely don't know something just say just i say don't I know don't and then know. they'll teach you yeah or you'll you learn it's it a yourself. learning opportunity yeah. but i think that's the thing is a lot of people I, we i guess not a lot of people society really society society go ahead <laughs> 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 I love it. We're oh, mad. Oh no, shit! No, but society really kind of makes it as like you either know or you don't, and that's it. Yeah. Those are the only options. Yeah. You have to have it figured out, or you don't. And yeah. that's a problem if you don't. Exactly. But like, and that's kind of what I think. You know, how, like my mom loves to debate. I mean, mm. I'm pretty sure that woman. She's a debate bro. She's. she's a debate you gotta bring her on there. But, um, <laughs> I, I think growing up with that and not enjoying that mm-hmm. made it really tough. And it's not that I try to avoid a debate. I'll, I'll fight my butt off. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's listening, but I'll fight my butt off against like anybody that's against Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. People are equal, and they should be equal. I'm not trying to sit here and be like, oh, give me a trophy because I think people are equal. But <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden, I mean, I guess not all of a sudden, it's never been equal. But if we're the smartest we've ever been and we're the most evolved we've ever been, we should have that figured out by now. Yeah. We can't sit here and say we're the smartest people on earth and 
we can't treat people. We can't even treat equal. people equal. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing is like I'll debate against that. I'm not trying to debate against you know. Should my taxes be raised for education for or edu- for right, rights? Right. I don't care about that. <laughs> um, but that's my thing. Is, shit that matters, basically. Yeah, and yeah, that's my, that and that's matters. my thing. Is Humanity. like she loves debating, and that's just not something I look forward to do. So one of the things I've noticed about debating is it's always I have an answer, and that's it. And that's it. Yes. Um, yes. And it's very easy to just say like. I don't really know enough about the topic. Like, I do need to research that. And if you're going to keep telling me what you think, I'm just going to say, like, appreciate it. But that doesn't but help. That like, doesn't, I still need right. to figure I it out. Because figure you're it just out. giving me your yeah. perception of what you think it right. is. Yeah, and it's especially lethal in a, you know, a time of a lot of misinformation, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. We're at a point where a lot of news sources don't care about what they're saying. They'll news straight sources. up say what they want to say. Because it's opinion. E- echo it's not chambers fact. Yeah. on the internet, yeah. you know? But that's the thing is, some are just not even opinionated it is no, just straight up straight, i'm going to yeah. lie so that you believe this that opinion. lie yeah so that's the thing is like i can't you know like with the whole gabby petito thing right um it goes back to some people were trying to say it was similar to the uh um you know mass murders and how it's all mm-hmm. fake and it's all really and, oh man listen, people were trying to say that like wow. that wasn't real like she hadn't actually been killed killed um or that she wasn't actually missing and for me like i did the research because like as much as i don't want to entertain it and be like (laughs) that's really like messed up (laughs) right i need to at least be able to so that when i have conversations with people and i have Mm -hmm. say hey here's why that's wrong Mm -hmm. and here's why they're telling you that because they want you to believe because it's easy to go oh gabby Batito isn't missing she she really did just kind of go off on her own she's not killed that this is just a whole conspiracy it's so easy to then go into well mass murders aren't real real. and that's eventually you'll end up all the way at would you like to (laughs) would you like to enlighten our audience who don't know about the gabby Batito? Yeah, if so, you're from Florida, you know. Who but go ahead. But go ahead. yeah, it's so, just Florida people yeah. listening, sir. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I guess. Okay. Go ahead. But uh, yeah, Gabby Petito uh, was a woman from Florida uh, who went on a, I guess, cross country road trip with her boyfriend mm-hmm. at the time, made it all the way to like Yellowstone, mm-hmm. and uh, all of a sudden, her boyfriend last year, right? Yeah. yeah last year, yeah, her, last year. Uh, her boyfriend year. came home uh, with no Gabby. And then refused to answer her parents' questions about mm-hmm. where she was. His parents, like, locked down and, like, listen, I'm all for, like, ride or die, but not when you you're just the, cold yeah, blooded killed you're somebody. The fucking, um, what? But everybody was just searching for her. Obviously, we all kind of knew mm-hmm. something yeah. was up. Uh, they had a few, you know, video cameras of, like, they were obviously having domestic spats. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, she ended up being killed i'm pretty sure they like found her remains but she had either been like hit with blunt force trauma, trauma or suffocated she was suffocated stuff like that um and her boyfriend at the time had gone missing because he also went on the run uh and then they found his body in a swamp yeah he was dead committed suicide like a coward like, listen mm. suicide is definitely a tough topic and for anybody struggling with it like i've been there mm-hmm. and like you know you could say the whole people love you but like it does get better. Eventually, it gets it better. Does. And it just takes. It does take time. Time. And to reach out to people That's that it. do care. Right. If there's anybody that knows me, I do care. Mm-hmm. I am willing to reach out. Mm-hmm. If anybody knows me, I'm willing to reach out. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> looking yes. at the camera for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you're committing suicide to f- run from the fact that you took somebody else's life, you're a coward. At the end of the day, for me, yeah. you're a coward. Yeah. Um, because he, his, her parents will never get the justice no. that they deserve. No. no, whatever that was, they never, they'll never get it, um, and they'll never know a hundred percent what happened. Mm-hmm. They'll read what he wrote in his journals, mm-hmm. but they'll never know. But they'll yeah. never know. Yeah. So that's my thing. Is like there was this whole kind of jump, and that's the thing. Is one of the podcasts I listen to gets on the topic of like QAnon and stuff like that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how they have these kind of like entryways of oh well i can believe this right. into now we're talking about like pizza game like half truths mm-hmm. they'll sprinkle half truths half truths into a full blown like, lie and like don't get me wrong lie. do i think that there's probably like epstein islands out there i mean that's already oh, oh fuck yeah that there look was. at saudi arabia yeah. look at all the come on but that's the thing yeah. is like an epstein island already proves that they are real yeah mm-hmm. yeah but if you're gonna tell me 
these specific people are involved, and you don't have like a list for me, mm-hmm. Prince Charles. Prince I guess Charles? King Charles. King. Wait, he's king now. Yeah. Yeah. She got. She finally died. She died today. The one that got married to uh, Kate. No. No. That bitch Camilla. Oh, <laughs> wait, I thought uh, he was married to Princess Diana. Right. The best woman out there. Uh, Cheated on her with Camilla. They got divorced. He started marrying Camilla. He's oh, king now. He's king yeah. now. How old is he? Seventy-three. Oh man, Psh, bro, give it twenty years. We're chilling. Well, yeah, Queen made it to ninety-six. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit, that was, she was like, I ain't going. That's next. different. Man. I looked it up. She was, I, I mean, obviously at ninety-six, but she was alive. Like she was born before 1926. World War Two. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like. She also like, contributed to all that uh, fucking East Indian trade and come all that. Bullshit. Well, listen, we ain't royal family out of here. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. You know a lot of the bullshit that's in the world, you know what I'm saying? Just... I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to, like, they were one of, if not the first colonizers. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to have any sympathy for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. Like, you're not necessarily, like, in power. You're more of a figurehead nowadays. Mm-hmm. But you still represent what it was. What I it mean, was. Elizabeth right. was married to her cousin. So, yep. like, you know, yep. I'm not, I'm not loving it too much, you know? <sighs> And nah, that's the same thing. Feel... It's like I can turn around and also look at America and be like, you're also absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, what? Yeah, we're not saints. What? We are not saints. Exactly. Nobody is. But, um... Yeah, not no, sir. Yeah. But thank you for explaining that. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. No, the... The scene froze. Yeah, I saw that. Like, uh, she died at 96. And the craziest thing is, too, people wanted... Uh, they wanted her dead before Betty White. They were so pissed when Betty White died. All right, we just talked about how there's no saints. Betty White's a saint. That woman's a mm, saint. Yes. Mm, through and through. She fought in the war. In the war. She fought for equality mm-hmm. at a time when, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still already controversial. Right. But at a time where it was controversial. Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, she fought tooth and nail. And, I mean, up until her last day, she just... That wanted, was crazy. She literally one week before her before 100th her birthday. birthday. That and Mac Miller. And Mac they Miller. Hurt. Oh, that Ugh. hurt, bro. That yeah. hurt me, man. But it was nuts how everyone tried to come after Ariana Grande for that shit. That's messed up. That's Damn. messed up. Especially, like, with the Yo. morning she's going. Mm. Like, listen, you can sit there and you can criticize the fact that she got with Pete Davidson as quickly as she did. Mm. You could criticize, you know, that you don't like her music or whatever you want to criticize. But when it comes down to, like, she obviously cared so much about him, and he was obviously struggling with so mm-hmm. much. And at the end of the day, it's nobody's responsibility to it's not carry right, it's not. you right. through your addiction. Right. You can't you can't put somebody's burden on you yeah. and say, yeah. "Oh, this is the yeah. reason why I, I will died." Hold your hand, I'll guide you, but you got to take that. Yeah. You have step. to take that step. She doesn't yeah. like. She didn't love him any less because of it, and that's yeah. the thing. Especially being as famous as you are, people are going to believe that they could. You know, there's girls out there that I'm sure were attracted to him that are like I would have stayed with him and it's like that's great but at the end of the day like that was her choice yeah. and the hardest thing to do is I mean you could tell if things had worked out like that's the man she was going to marry right. or at least it seemed like it yeah. she was head over heels for him and when he died I mean that was a really tough thing to watch her kind of go through because it was very obvious and I mean even in her music mm. by the way bangers but even in her music from that album it was just it was heartbreaking to watch, and I she still obviously struggles with it. I mean, she got married now, but mm-hmm. you watched her and Pete Davidson's relationship devolve, you know, dissolve. And I give Pete a lot of credit for that. He took it on the chin. Mm-hmm. He understood like what she was going what through. What she was going through. That's facts. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I got a little messy because she made that song about like <laughs> I just got a big yeah, yeah got a big dick. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, he I think there was some somewhere he said like when he died, like he knew it was pretty much over. And I was like. That's tough because you know how much like she, she loved, loved him. him. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn, man. Yeah. Damn. Do you think that kind of affected Pete in a way? Because, like, now he's everyone's side piece now. Sort of. I mean, I think. Oh, with um, what's her name? Yeah, Kim. Well, Kim Kardashian. I think Kim Kardashian. I mean, I don't know. Again, this is just speculation. Yeah, yeah, we can speculate. Hypothetical. Let's, let's, yeah. let's speculate. <laughs> <laughs> you just love fucking pressing that button. Maybe <laughs> so. Anybody listening? Yeah, so tired yeah they're gonna be like, <laughs> "Fuck, press something else." <laughs> but um, I don't know if that affected him. Like, I'm not sure. I think, like, and this is my little like, I guess, hot topic. I think Kim affected him a lot because. 
you know, I think he wanted to date Ariana. He knew he had gotten into it, like, pretty hot. I mean, they got mar- they were getting engaged, engaged months, yeah. if that. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, I think he said a few times, too, like, yeah, it was tough, but it was pretty quick. It was a little too quick. Mm-hmm. Um, she had just come off this breakup, so I'm sure from the start there was already issues there. Right. I mean, Ghostin, her song Ghostin, where she's like, I'm wishing he was in bed with in me. Bed with Damn. I was like, it probably should have ended there, That's but at least she's like being 100 percent honest about it i'm sure she maybe was honest about it in the relationship because yeah, yeah. he never like seemed blindsided yeah right. even though he seems like a cool guy mm-hmm. i feel like he would have been like yeah it was fucked up but whatever yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. facts yeah but uh and i think that's the only the only thing you heard about their relationship that he was pissed off about was the fact that she like wrote that song talking mm-hmm. about his new mm-hmm. and he's like man i was there for you emotionally and like all you got is that that Damn. meanwhile right Damn. before that she said like what would she say she said um I, like I thank you for Mac or whatever, because he's like he's an angel, and I'm like, imagine being any yeah, of her exes, that's wild, man. any of her exes, that's wild. and Damn. she goes and like and Mac's an angel. I was like, you done? Like yeah, that's, yeah, we're but good. um, we're I think good. Kim affected him because like yeah, he went through all that Yeezy stuff, which I'm gonna be controversial. I think Yeezy definitely needs help. He does, and what help. he's doing is no, he 100% no, he needs wrong. Help. Yeah, he does. Um, and there's Absolutely. a lot of people out there that think like. No, nah, they're just trying to keep him back. He needs to see his kids. And I'm like, being oh. a kid that's gone through that, like, seeing they such a toxic to, thing, right. it's not right. And then yeah. involving the public, like, yeah, I know, like, people eat that shit up. Mm-hmm. We don't need to be involved in that. Yeah. At the end of the day, whether you like Kim Kardashian or not, she deserves her privacy. Right. Um, even though she missed her straight. That's what was crazy, too, because, like, even with that, where I think it was, was it back in 2012? I think it was in 2012 when. With the robbery? Robbery. Yeah. And People I mean, were that, cheering that. That, that affected yeah. her. Like, I'm Man, very much so, like, crazy. and again, this is controversial. I'm very much so, like, eat the rich, right? Like, I don't mm. think there needs to be billionaires. No, billionaires, no. fine. Especially right. if you're a self made millionaire. Mm-hmm. But billionaires, I mean, I kind of make an exception for Rihanna. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's wrong. Look, I am not perfect. Fenty. I love Rihanna. I support Fenty. <laughs> but, like, I am in a mindset of, like, yeah, you should give up. If I was a billionaire and uh. you said, I want to take all of your money and I want to make you a millionaire, but I want to take all that money and give back, I'm okay with having to mope and grope about the fact that I lost that money. Mm-hmm. I'm giving back. I'm giving yeah. Back. Yeah, that's right. Um, but even though she's a millionaire or whatever she yeah she's still a millionaire right now kim deserves her privacy mm-hmm. and that was such a traumatic thing and in some of her interviews i mean she didn't do interviews for months yeah she didn't go outside for months yeah that's terrible and then in her first interview she like you could tell she was emotional about it and that's tough and it's extremely tough to be like texting your ex and being like hey we don't need to be doing this through here i mean at the end of the day kim was done she was ready to stay married be with him mm-hmm. and you know, it just didn't work out. I mean, he told everybody at a church gathering that she mm-hmm. was got an abortion, and yeah. that's tough. That, it, 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 it's hard to stay in a relationship when he's just, he's putting all yeah. your, your trauma, your business everything. out there. All your business. All out everything. there. And, like, especially after the robbery, right. knowing that, like, that's not what she's about. And, again, I'm not a Kardashian fan, mm-hmm. but I, I can relate to that. I can understand that. She's why human. That, yeah. So I think being with Pete, and he went through all of that, you know, I mean, Kanye was going after him. I mean, that music video he mm-hmm. made. Did you see that music video? No, I did not. He made a music video pretending he had Pete's head. Yeah. Like, cut it's off. It's crazy shit. Boy, that man was jealous. It's crazy yeah, shit, Yeah, and he man. took it on the chin. He mm-hmm. made, like, a joke about it or something. Yeah. He said he liked the music video or something. So he went through all of that. He's, you know, being a part of these kids' lives, even after the breakup. Mm-hmm. He went and got himself in rehab because yeah. he knew that, like, he needed to get checked out. Um, I think that's tough. I think he maybe had like a a tight relationship with her he really enjoyed being with her and to be like you know what this affected me enough that i need to go get checked out and keep an eye out on me and then to still come back and be like that good guy Mm -hmm. damn because he even left snl too yeah 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 Yeah, 2022 right because he was there since 2012 yeah something like that and the fact and like i mean at the end of the day like pete did not owe him anything you know i mean at the end of the day he didn't he wasn't married to her doesn't have kids with her Mm -hmm. he didn't he didn't mention a thing about her he hasn't said a word about her he didn't say anything about the fact that they were dating until she was comfortable with it it. and it's that wild thing where like it's a blessing that she i guess had him because she helped him her feel alive again Mm -hmm. yeah um, and she, and I guess he was bringing brightness when she's dealing with this very like public divorce. Right, right. Um, 
he seemed to be very like supportive of her becoming a lawyer which is great good for her i mean she's at least done some good getting people right. out of prison yeah. mm-hmm. but um she got kodak out of it <laughs> my name call that black when you see me I'm white I'm white my name call that black I'm a fucking white wife that man play too much bro. But that's what I'm talking about it's like, I shout out to Justin for showing us that video I gotta give her the credit where credit's due and I gotta give Pete the credit like yeah I think Ariana maybe messed him up he handled that mm-hmm. like a champ like a champ but I can only do it based off of evidence and what it seems like with Kim I was like man that that, that hurt. It was wild. That, that put him on his knee for a second. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's great. It did. Yeah. Because, like, who was posting their conversations? Was it him or was it Kanye? One of them was posting their conversations. Kanye, I think, did, but I think Pete kind of played in a few times where but, he, like, but, mentioned, I think, like, fucking his wife or something like that. <laughs> and I was oh, like, no. Listen. My favorite one was where he took Stop a picture. It. He was right next to Kim or some, yeah. some shit like that. But that's the thing. Like, it's in like, bed with your wife. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? He, Kanye yeah. Jackson, what are you doing? I'm in bed with your wife. And see, that's the thing is Damn. people like lost their mind. They're like, well, Kanye's trying to get her back. And I'm like, listen, man, <laughs> the minute you out my abortion, the minute you out, Bro. and you're like saying like, how dare he killed my, she killed my baby. I'm yeah. like, first of all, she told you. You know she told mm-hmm. him. There's no way she just made that decision without yeah. him. She tried multiple times to stay with him. I mean, at one point he was even living on like his ranch mm-hmm. and she was living in LA and she's like, I'm yeah. trying to figure it out. I give her the credit. She did her best. and uh, Or at least it seems that way. You know, Nobody knows behind closed doors, but it seemed that way. And meanwhile, Kanye's posting their freaking text. text like, yeah. I want our kids to go to Donda. And I'm like, I would understand <laughs> why maybe he doesn't want... Bro, that man lost his mind. That's wild. Have you Listen, done lost your mind? You wear a Make America Great Again hat. Oh, yeah. And be talking about how slavery was a choice. It was a choice. And all that. And then turn around and say, like... Yeah, How he, dare this woman keep me from my kids? I was like, mm. that's wild. Plus, like, she even, I'm pretty sure she came out and was like, I'm not keeping him from his kids. No. Nah. No. Nah. But that's I don't something. Think so. Yeah, he needs therapy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah he does. I, I honestly think everything went south after his mom died. And that's tough. Yeah, it did. Yeah. That's it tough. did. After his mom died. Yeah. Like, because he came out with an awesome album, and after his mom died, it was just shit from there. I mean, the album, you know, then the school, like, mm-hmm. you can tell he obviously loves his mom, and, mm-hmm. like, it's still. It's reeling from, reeling that. from that but i mean that's the thing is like because like she's the only one there to talk since she's the only you one just that got grounded a bunch him. of yes men yeah she's the only one that grounded you. him you know what i'm saying right yeah and you i think that's saying? the thing that like people don't give her credit for like yeah you could go after the fact that she's appropriated black culture and she's mm. taken a lot from creators 100 mm-hmm. percent. Mm. a lot of her businesses she's taking from small black creators 100 mm. percent. that doesn't make it right but like mm-hmm. i said like a little earlier people are not black and white it no. is very gray yeah and while I don't agree with that, and that doesn't mean I support her or anything like mm-hmm. that, um, it at least from my end is very clear that, like I said, she was done. She was ready to just have this relationship, be with him, um, and just live their lives together. Mm. And yeah, of course, that would be in the public eye and stuff like that. Right. But she was ready for that, and the fact that she initiated, and you know, you could turn to the fact that like she was married to Chris Humphreys for like what forty six days or yeah. something. I remember that. That was wild. 46 days. That was wild. <laughs> yeah. And she even That's says, awesome. like, that was embarrassing for her. But, like, the fact that she's like, no, like, I wanted this to work with Kanye, and it doesn't, um, that yeah. sucks. And, and, and he's the one who did most of the bullshit. Yeah, and that's the thing, is even Damn. though he did most of the bullshit, I can also turn around and say, like, you're sick. Like, you need help. And that's not yeah. me looking mm. down on him, but that's me saying, like... He needs mental health. That's one of those things where, you know, especially men and, um, you know, the, the minority... Black men, men, especially, yeah. Black men. Because we're supposed to be need tough. Help. I mean, did you hear about that tic- the TikTok with the black therapist? And she said black men need, need therapy, therapy. And they got her fired from her job. Yeah, remember she was on TikTok. They banned her for saying that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah they yeah. did get it her went, fired. It, it went yeah. controversial. Yeah. They mm-hmm. got her fired from her job. And mm-hmm. I was like... And again... I'm a white woman. I have no business speaking on that, but that's one of those things where it's like, I can recognize that there's specific people out there, specifically black men, that do not get the support. Yeah, because all you hear in in inner circles is, "Man up, be a man." Yeah, yeah. and I mean Take that's the thing the is, yeah, like all men are told like don't man. show emotions. Right. Yeah. Black men specifically go through what I would say, for the most part, more trauma than white men. You know, there's a good, there's a better chance of having you know, your father and home because there's not this, you know, circle of crime mm-hmm. and being stuck in that. Um, yeah. Yeah. You have the ability to be a little bit more 
well off. Mm -hmm. So you have the chance of not going to poorer schools or having a better right. education, stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. So being stuck in that situation, it makes it even tougher because you, you have to do kind of, not to say like, I relate, but kind of like what I did. I didn't go to therapy. I didn't have somebody to sit there and say like, hey, you need to help. Right. But they'd be nice if you did. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's the thing is it's really tough to come out of that. And I commend everybody, specifically black people, like black women, black <laughs> men that do come out of that because I don't think I don't think the world gives enough credit to the fact that I mean, who I, I mean, of course, other people, but like white people didn't go through slavery. No. I mean, what great, your great grandparents were stuck. Or yeah. Great, yeah. Your yeah, great grandparents were been stuck in that. Yeah. Your grandparents and your parents definitely were like through segregation and Still, oh, we're good. Yeah, we're still. Haitian. Oh, well, they would come on, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's come true. on. Yeah, that's true. If you're black and you're in the the Western Hemisphere, you're yeah. descendant of a slave. Honestly, bro. probably the entire world. You're descendant world. of a slave. Yeah, that's facts. That's pretty much the entire world. If you're black yeah. and outside Africa, you're yeah. descendant. From and that's the thing. It's like I could go all the way back and get technical and be like, well, Greek people had slaves and like we were enslaving each other, but like who cares? It's not the same. It's like not. Yeah. that's not affected. That was like that wasn't BC, chattel slavery. Yeah, that was before like, Christ. That wasn't chattel slavery. <laughs> exactly. Right. And that's the thing is people, especially like white people, love what or sorry, sometimes you can't hear white people. Love white to just, folks. No, they love to just be like, oh, that was so long ago. I'm like, bitch, no, it wasn't. It, it was. wasn't. And that's the thing is I commend like minorities, specifically black people, because how do you do it? Like, how do you fight tooth and nail in a world that has shown they don't care about you mm -hmm. and still come up? still be Kanye West, mm -hmm. be Beyonce, mm -hmm. like do those things. Um, Kanye's got his own problems going on and he needs help and he needs to get it figured yeah, out. But figure out. at the end of the day, like, is he, a, like I always say, like, is Kanye a genius? I don't think you get to be a genius when you did the things you did, mm -hmm. but I respect that in the musical sense. Yeah, you're a genius. You're a genius. You paved right. the way. Nobody else has done that. And that's insane. Wow. So there's a respect to it, but that doesn't mean it's, don't and, be, and I think don't most, be the stigmatism that everybody says. Well, well, that's the thing, though. Most of it is, like, propagated. It's supported through... And people are eating. You know, like, this whole, yeah. Yeah. like, toxic masculinity, mm -hmm. um, the manosphere. It's the like, red pill. The red yeah. pill. All that like, bullshit. all of that. That alpha man. The alpha man. I'm the sigma. I'm a sigma. <laughs> yeah. When I heard <laughs> that shit, I'm like, what Hold the on. fuck? Oh, God. Giga Bro, Chad. we go through the whole Giga Chads Giga and Chad. shit. Oh, my God. A Chad and Well, anytime a... I think of Chad, I just think that meme now. It's like, oh, oh yeah, the fuck you, I bro. That. Dude, that man in that I mandible. That. <laughs> the, the side. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good chin. That's oh awesome, God. man. I would love yeah. to cosplay as that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to the gym real quick. <laughs> I'll be back in 10 years, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's just, it's just stuff like that. Because it's like, how, like, where do you, because... I, I talked to him about this uh, a few weeks back where I was like, this is an issue men have to, like, address. Yeah, the outlet episode was yeah, basically you know about... Like, that's... Um, that. Go ahead. No, the outlet episode that we came out with, we were just, we were just kind of um, basically addressing that... Um, if you have mental health issues or anything like that, you, it was all Andrew Tate. Yeah, we it was on Andrew. It, Andrew. Yeah, it was on Andrew Tate yeah, because you know they'll Andrew. they'll take certain clips of him and then it'll, it mm -hmm. and and the way he speaks and the way he treats women and all that stuff like that. And I said this is not the guy to represent all men because all these kids with internet brain will think this is how men. This is exactly. how this is how women actually are. Right. Yeah. They'll meet that. They'll meet that. They'll he'll describe that one woman, whether it be blonde, brunette, or whatever, mm -hmm. and then. That man will go outside of his comfort zone, the computer yeah. screen, go outside and think all women are And assholes. project all yeah. that he just consumed yeah. out into the real, in, in, yeah. in RRL. And that's the thing is like, yeah, you could say like, yeah. you know, Andrew Tate definitely has a, maybe a mental health issue and needs to get that figured out. At the end of the day, what you're saying is extremely sexist. Yeah. And it does, it does end up affecting women. I mean, the fact that, you know, just a few days ago, there was a woman jogging who was killed just right. because she's jogging right. or like I went to the gym today and I'm getting stared down by a 60 year old man and that's Whoa. that's that's my that's life cringe. that's what I live <laughs> you know yeah um you know it's not the same thing in terms of like being of a darker skin and having people prejudge you for whatever it is whether they think you're a terrorist or they think you know you're gonna you're, you're gonna steal yeah Something you're a thug like yeah but I think the thing that women experience on a daily is that we're and, and this is kind of what you know Tate does mm -hmm. is we're a sex object that's it right. we're a sex object but how dare we be a sex object 
because we should be wives and mothers and we should be these virgins and it's that what is it called the 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 horror the madonna the madonna the madonna complex. yeah the madonna complex and it's this idea of we need to be just as holy as, as the mother mary but how dare we have the body that we have i can't right. affect the way that i look right. i understand that there's certain features of mine that are desirable mm -hmm. i can't affect that i grew up that way right. at 15 i grew an ass and all of a sudden i've got adult men coming after, coming after because me because you look like and an that's adult and female. i don't know how to affect i don't know how to handle that and that's the thing is it's really tough that there's somebody that has a platform and I'm glad he's been deplatformed and they're mm -hmm. taking him off is because it's so unhealthy and at least it kind of shows some form of support because mm -hmm. I, I think a really tough thing that women see on the daily is men agreeing with other men mm -hmm. or not speaking up about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it's, it, it's not a fun, obviously, it's not a fun life to live. Yeah. Here's, here's my, to the whole deplatforming thing. Mm -hmm. Um, his I can understand why he was deplatformed, but his message is gonna get across. But yeah. for me, once you put that curtain in front of someone, you essentially end the conversation. Mm -hmm. And now those people who are pushing that idea will just do it behind closed doors. Yeah, like they'll go find it. Like I mean, mm -hmm. like Trump has his own website. Yeah. Right. Or like a few days ago, they just took down a website that was um, Truth doxing. Social. Uh, I think it might have no, not Truth no? Social. Okay. It was. Um, Oh, I can't think of the word. It was some it was some weird website, but it was basically doxing people on the left that disagree with like conservatives uh, or I guess QAnon yeah. specifically because okay. there is a difference now. Mm -hmm. But they were doxing people and finding where they lived and like one woman committed suicide, another Damn. woman left the country because they were like looking Whoa. for them. Um, and I think that's the thing is like, on one hand, I do agree. Like, yeah deplatforming just means they're going to go find their own platform mm -hmm. or you know they'll find another way it is a tough situation that's kind of what we talked about in mm -hmm. terms of like what's correct and what's you know correct? everybody loves to say politically correct but it's just what's correct it's what's correct mm -hmm. um on the other hand like what is humane i think humans? like i said it's that support of like i know that you know tiktok not letting him be on tiktok or yeah. though you know some people post it or saying like he can't be on youtube or wherever he's on we're not going to allow him to be on there because, or we're not going to let him be on there because that's wrong. What he's saying is mm -hmm. misogynistic. It's going to get women hurt. Mm -hmm. um, well, the I thing too is he that. doesn't have, he doesn't have, any he doesn't even have a platform. They're, yeah. they're taking, they invite him to their shows, their shows. and then they're, they're right. just yeah. spreading. And that's the thing is like, yeah. and I mean, you know, you could turn around and say, well, we're talking about him. Other places are talking yeah. about him and that's wrong. And I'm like, you know what? No, I think it's fine. If you show clips of him and you're like, hey, this is why we think this is wrong. Yeah. You don't have to agree with it, but right. I don't necessarily think you're a better person for agreeing with For that. agreeing with right. Yeah, like I'll straight up say it. If you agree with Andrew Tate, <laughs> you're a bad person. But again, <laughs> ag ag that again, too, that's why we're saying he is the wrong person to represent, to represent. men as a whole right. exactly. like, on the platform. For, like, exactly. Because like, yeah. if... Because it's the idea that men need to... Men need a space. Need a space to dissect their emotions, their beliefs, and why yeah. they believe certain their things. Their own space. Yeah, yeah because we're space. always told to hold it in, be a man, right. be tough, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You can't cry, all But that stuff. when this particular man does it, it's, no, you're doing it the wrong way. But if he does it long enough, what did you see start happening? Other men started coming exactly. into the fold and saying either a this is what it is he's correct or b they challenge him exactly and i do appreciate the people yeah. that because like i i will agree you know you look at all these clips of what he said and everybody's focusing on what is said yeah nobody's really looking at the podcast to then say well they challenged it they disagreed with they disagreed. it and they told him why he was wrong and there's a few people that did right there were. right there right. were um like hassan Ex that was hilarious. Hassan challenged. Hassan yeah. Piker. I don't know if you. Uh, you ever heard yeah, of I did. Yeah, okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> that fucking Greek tank. No, Turkish. Turkish. Yeah. Those freaking Hassan, Hassan Piker. Hassan oh Piker, my bro. God. That man is a. All right, go. All ahead. right, go back. No, 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 no. But I 100 percent agree. Like again, it comes down to like that's not my space to talk about it. At the yeah. end of the day, I'm not a male. I'd love to be a white male. Who's <laughs> <laughs> got it figured oh, out? They got it figured out. Yeah. Let me tell but, you. But um, we, 
we silently struggle though. <laughs> exactly, but that's the thing is like they don't have their space. I mean, one of the things you know they talk about the firefighters curse that like seventy percent of firefighters, firefighters. get divorced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, being from a firefighter family that was divorced, I know it's a lot of times because they're not talking about it right. or like, you know, their whole idea, whether it's, it's not like my, like my dad never came home and talked about what he saw at work and I'm not saying he should have. He should have, right. But that knowing, like going to work, seeing something terrible, not talking about it means that you're going to come home and you're not going to talk about your problems. You're not going to talk about, oh, hey, I'm really stressed today. I know that you need help with the kids. Can I have like 10 minutes to myself? You're not going to, you're not going to do that. Right. And in the same way that women are trying to figure out their own issues, <laughs> um, men need their own space to do that too. And I do recognize that like, he should, I, I don't think he should have a platform, I guess. He should have a platform, but... He, I do agree that, like, what's happening where he is going on shows and people are challenging, 100%. Yeah. Right. But it is a sticky slope, or I guess, like, a, a, a sticky situation where now you have kids that are like, yeah, no, 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 I agree, I agree. And it's like, mm-hmm. under no circumstances you should agree. Right. I mean, it should be one of those things where you would hope everybody that's bringing him on is like, hey, that's not that's right, not and this is, is why it's right. not right. right. And just absolutely destroying yeah, him. Challenge him, yeah. That's not the case, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a yeah. lot of men do right. agree with it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. again, I mean, it is the same thing as you know. There's women you don't see too often. I mean, you do, but there's not too many women that get that popular that are like, I hate men. But you see a lot of women that are like, you should be housewives. You mm-hmm. should be subservient to your mm-hmm. husband. Mm-hmm. You know, um, they always get the meals before you or your kids. Blah 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 blah. blah. Mm-hmm. And then that's like another thing where like. While men should handle that, women also have a voice in that because he's speaking that right. yeah. disrespectfully of women right. in the same way that women need to handle other women that say, hey, you should be subservient. If he beats you, it's your fault. You've done this or you've Damn. done that. You know, that's something we need to handle and mm. figure out on our own. At the same time, doesn't mean that I'm not going to be upset that you guys are like, hey, what she said is messed up. I'm going to be like, yeah. Now, if you're like, I agree, she should be able to, you know, we should be able to beat women. I'm going to be like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the like same that way. one question, why don't women want to cook and clean? They're tired. Yeah, Those man. All the time. They tired. turn around and say like, oh, well, they should be housewives again, but that's no, not, that's not. Stop like, bringing the 1950s to 2022. Bro, Listen, that's not how that works. Time zone. What is it? You spend like a third of your life sleeping. You want me to spend the second Sorry. third of my life in my house? Yeah. But I, and, and that's the thing. It's like, okay. Be a housewife, but everything that the housewife did in those times, there's something to do it for you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cook. There's a whole bunch of things mm-hmm. that can cook for you. Pressure we got cooker. DoorDash. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A dishwasher. We got mm-hmm. little iRobot vacuums. So it's like, yeah. what do you what do you really yeah. want? And like, at the end of the day, like, if you want to be, like, I guess that's what I want for, I guess, women. Mm-hmm. My equality thing is that everybody's The seen, choice. Yeah, I guess perfect world is everybody's seen equal, obviously, based off color, sex, orientation, mm-hmm. whatever. I don't care if, you know, you see yourself as a different gender. I don't care if you see yourself liking a different um, sex, mm-hmm. you know, go for it. I would love to see women. If you want to be a housewife, you go ahead and go be a housewife. Ahead, yeah. You be the best guy. And don't get ever. don't get uh, um, ostracized or shamed. Yeah, because I I know because there are women that are. I've seen like a, it's not all there, but I I've seen this transition where it's like mm-hmm. I want to be a, a stay at home mom and yeah. like you'll get the side and everybody's eye. like, why would you want why that? Would why you don't want you want to be successful? And yeah, it's like, you can, that's so yeah. degrading. And like, you can hundred yeah. percent be successful yeah, as a housewife right. in your own way exactly yeah exactly. and i think it comes down to like you know what is it that you want and i think the reason you know earlier when i had said you know there's women out there that are like we should all be housewives we should be subservient mm-hmm. it's this idea and i guess that's kind of what andrew tate's doing and that's mm-hmm. the difference is if andrew tate came on and said i believe that women are second class i believe that if a woman does wrong i should pop her in the jaw It'd be different. I don't agree with it, and mm. people should fight against right, that. Right, right. But that'd be different. He mm. can believe that. Right. Just like a woman can believe, I would like to be a housewife. I would like to be subservient. <laughs> when you start turning around, and this goes in the same way of saying that you should only be a boss babe, <laughs> is turning around and saying, this is how it should be done. And that goes all the way back to what we were talking about in terms of religion, right. of this is it. This is the only this way. Is right. Correct, incorrect. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be that mm-hmm. way. It's not black and white. Like exactly, you said. yeah. If if you want to, like, in your house, be subservient, be a housewife, absolutely. Now, there are black and white answers to certain questions. Mm-hmm. You should not abuse your wife. You should not abuse your husband. 
you should not be racist. You mm-hmm. should not be sexist. Mm-hmm. You should not, you know, be um, bigoted right. towards the LGBTQ. Right. Like, right. those are just very straightforward answers. Mm-hmm. Some people don't agree with that, right. you know, but is what it is. At the end of the day, and again, that comes down to Christianity, like, Christianity's idea is, well, for me to be a good Christian, I shouldn't agree with manling with man. Well, the Bible's been written so many so times. So times, bro. You're just agreeing with what the person in front of you is telling you. Telling you. you. you know At the end saying? of the day, I'm just trying to be a good How do person. you feel? At, at the end of yeah. the day, it, it's one verse. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Yeah, or you could even turn around and say, like, you know, what is it? The first person to cast stone, yeah, blah, blah, he, blah. Uh, the, he you with no cast, sin cast the first, cast stone. The first, cast the first stone. stone. Yeah. At the you end know? of the day, like, that's not my job to right. judge you. It's right. God's stuff. That's God's If you believe in God, yeah. it's God's but job. Most or the universe. Is, most, most religious people. You know or, yeah, or the yeah. universe, because if you're not religious, then karma. Karma. Yeah. I think, you know, it's very easy to turn and point a finger or wag at Christians or, you know, Christians wagging a finger at Muslims and atheists. Everybody has their own thing that they've done wrong mm-hmm. or their own judgment that they have towards others. And I think... You know, again, I don't have it all figured out, but I think kind of coming into one center idea of who cares? Who cares? You do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to <laughs> We're do. We're human. If you're that's not hurting human. anybody, right. we treat that's you as such. Yeah, 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 I agree. Not, if you're not hurting anybody, you're not oppressing anybody, right. do what you need to it's do. Just that absence of humanity and just. But in, like he said, but like he said too, we are all born ignorant. We don't no idea is an original idea. We just hear it from someplace yeah, else. We are all born Take ignorant. it in. History is written by the yeah, victors. Yeah, you know and then, and of course, yeah. it's tell as old as time. Man. Yeah, and of course, uh, people who just consume um, what they hear just regurgitate. Yeah, they just consume content and it's understand like, why they don't you feel really. The way yeah, you feel. they don't really yeah. understand yeah. the idea. Or it's like, like, prime example. Um, even going back to Tate, I hate to bring it up again. But it's like a lot of these young men, some older men, and men in his circle. Well, the men in his circle understand. But a lot of these young men, they're taking all these bits of information. And it gives them this validation like, okay, I got the answers. I can do it. But like what they don't realize is it's work. Like if you're aiming for those IG baddies or, you know, these moms. Or the Lambos or the, or the, Lambos, the mansion. That's work. But here's one thing you need to come to terms with. Not everyone's going to win. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone's going to be able 90% to... 90% of them are going to fail. Yeah, 90% mm-hmm. of people are going to fail. And and it's like why we use the phrase internet brain. It's like a lot of people feel that they know things because they just consume the information. And because mm-hmm. they have that enlightenment from that information I was providing Like, for example, she went to the Bahamas. You can talk about right me. i could watch a video about the bahamas tell you everything in the bahamas the bars the the views the scene the the the, the, the whatever people, the, culture, the people the culture it. and then i could go there yeah you know what i'm saying that's different and it's and it's completely different, different. Yeah. so it's like they get this this hit of dopamine like yeah this is what i believe in you know but i'm not willing to put it into work yeah. it's like oh she doesn't want to talk to me because i'm not a chad and i don't make six mm-hmm. figures and da 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 well, if that's what your idea of a perfect man is mm-hmm. to get that woman that you're seeking, put in that work. And I think that's the thing, too, is that kind of mentality that, you know, some men have kind of taken on, mm-hmm. considering Andrew Tate, mm-hmm. is this idea of, like, women do not have their own autonomy ideas. Right. or Yeah, and I mean, there's it's actually talked about a lot, like the female gaze versus the male gaze. Yeah. The male gaze is... Uh, Chris Evans, although we can all agree Chris Evans is a snack and deserves to be where he oh, is. Yeah. Chris so, Jamal Evans, I mean. <laughs> Chris Evans was too. Yeah. Chris oh, Chris. Evans. But like, you know, um, like Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, that's a male perception of that's what I've got to be. Meanwhile, yeah. like Tom Hiddleston, Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson are getting that's the facts. women. That's and facts. to them, it's like, no, there's no way. And it's because there is a different female gaze. And, you know, I can't speak for the insta baddies i can't speak for the women that are you know dating the rich lamborghini guys because we were just talking about it earlier like if it was elon musk would you have his baby (laughs) (laughs) i can't speak for them but i can speak for me as a female and my whole thing is like it does come down to that connection it's that um idea of can i build a life with you are you interested in me do you see me as an equal and you know i think one of the beautiful things that i have with ryan specifically (laughs) is that my life is not what I thought it would be. A lot of the times, like, 
even when like my mom is a very strong woman mm -hmm. but even in that case sometimes i saw the mother father role i mm -hmm. saw a subservient dominant role whether mm -hmm. that was my dad being subservient mm -hmm. or her it's weird being in a relationship with somebody that fully sees you as an equal that is it that's you know we have complete 50 50 if there's a day where he needs me more than i need him i've got his back mm -hmm. but it goes the opposite way mm -hmm. and in terms of making decisions um, you know, when we have kids, when we have, mm -hmm. you know, get married, all of that, it is a hundred percent 50, 50. And it's a very freeing thing to be because I'm just his best friend. Well, I've been hearing from a lot of older people that a relationship is not 50, 50, it's a hundred, a hundred, because if you're down, he has to pick up that 50%. Yeah. And then it's 150 on him and then 150 on you. Yeah. But I've been hearing that a lot from a lot of older people, like, cause I know a lot of people say, oh, relationships 50, 50, but I think it's a hundred, a hundred. Yeah. When it comes yeah. down to it. And even then later on in life, it's mm -hmm. like, that's why you'll see like 50 year olds. Yeah. They, they grow together yeah. they learn, like they hate things about each other, but they understand to and it's that same compromise. Yeah. yeah. Understand. Understand. There you go. That's a better word. There you so go. my final question to you oh boy. is what's your plan for the future? Because I'm definitely crashing your wedding. And I heard it was going to be X-Men themed. Oh, so. No, no, it's not. As you can see, well, I'm Ryan, a nerd. The reason why. <laughs> I'm going to bust through the doors with my juggernaut helmet. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jeff, what are you doing? You know why I did this? Because I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Well, the reason why, not to dox Ryan, his last name is Storm. Ooh, there you that's go. so cool. That's all right. That's, that's it. Storm. That's it. Mr. and Mrs. Storm. Oh my god, that's, that's so awesome. That's so such a cool ass. Money Shot Matt likes to say that I'm gonna have an X-Men themed wedding and he's gonna come in as Professor X. I'm ready. Because he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. I'll be Luke I'll, I'll be Luke Cage. But I will rent, the short version. Though. I will rent a hover round for him. That way he could just <laughs> I told him he's gotta show up and then like when we kiss, he'll like stand up and be like, It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh, that's fine. Is he really gonna shave his head or he's gonna wear a bald cap? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean I don't I don't know the future and I think that's kind of exciting that's and awesome. nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. Um obviously getting married would be nice. Awesome, awesome. First my job. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I want I wanna to be stable. help. I want to yeah. figure it out. And, mm -hmm. like, even, you know, you could say financially stable, but it's just being stable. Mm -hmm. Figuring out a spot where I'm comfortable with. I don't think, you know, here, Fort Myers, is, is my right. stable, you know, where I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my home is going to be, but I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, being with Ryan is. And I struggled for a long time deciding if I wanted to have kids or not because of the world we live in. And especially having yeah. a daughter, I'm afraid. Um, at the end of the day, every single day, even though we play it off, you every wanna, single day I'm yeah, afraid. You being don't want a woman. Andrew Tate coming yeah. up to her. And, yeah. yeah, or just anybody, because at the end of the day, it could be anybody. It could be anybody, bro. Um, but I do think I'm going to have kids. I got the names picked out and everything. It's going to be great. Ooh, you want to give us a sneak peek? Uh, Initials? <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Well, Leo for a boy. I like okay. Leo. And um, uh, Theo. I know Ooh, those match, and nobody yeah. likes that, so, but Theo, because well, I want hey, Greek involved. We're all clones. We all share the same. Yeah. Jeff and Jeff, I didn't Jeff know. Jeff and Jeff. So Leo, Jeff, Bernard, I like that. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm joking. Boy, get I'm out joking. of here. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> get out of here, you But, um, yeah, like, I am willing to fight for my kids. Yeah, tooth that's and awesome. nail. That's and, awesome. uh, I'll never, my biggest thing, I guess, in terms of the future, when I think about it, is I want my kids to have the things that I felt like I didn't have. Mm. And part of that is being open to question and being open to living a life that, you know, they're figuring it out, but they know that I'm there to cover them and have their back. And yeah. I think that's really important to figure out when you're a child. Yes. Um, you know, my, my dad loved to say children should be seen, not heard. Mm. That's something I don't agree mm. with. I want my child to talk to me, not talk back to me, No. but I do think there is a space Spot where we're at the end of the day humans it's really hard to remember that your parents are humans too yeah, mm -hmm. and they're going to make mistakes and as a parent you forget that you forget like i'm making like you of course like you know parents say like oh i hit my kid and now they're crying and screaming and you're thinking oh my god like i'm a terrible parent <laughs> uh, unless like you know you're one of those southern or like, those black yeah, I, yeah like, I got they it. Bro, it what oh i got my ass beat we're pain re we're pain resistant yep. yeah. Yeah. Bro, i got gator skin boy stop oh, playing man. but for me as a mom like there's gonna be times where i screw up and yeah. i know my kid's gonna know that 
but I need them to also know I've got their back. That's a learning process. You know, yeah. my kid's going to grow up, they're going to be, you know, introduced to weed, and they're going to be introduced to other drugs and other alcohol. Things, right. And I need them to know that they can come to me. I'm not saying I'm going to be like that mom from Mean Girls, which is like, do you need protection? And, <laughs> you know, I'm got not going to be like... Got a bowl of condoms and yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, let's definitely have sex in my house. But I am going to be like, hey Stop man, it. like, you're going to experience the world. Right. And I, it's fine, and you're going to experience it. Yeah, don't it. shelter your kids, because I don't that's want the you, worst thing exactly. you can ever do. Yeah, I, I don't want you to be alone. Yeah. I need, because, like, you know, some of the things that I went through, and this is something we could talk about if I come back, mm. is, like, I've had adults that took advantage of me as a child in a sense where they should not have been inappropriate with me. Wow. Yeah, I've had adults that crossed a line. Right. And of course, we, I mean, if you don't agree, like if we've been talking about opinions and stuff, if you don't agree that an adult should not be with a child, get, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I've experienced that. And I think that really, I, I, I wish it didn't happen, of course, right. um, the amount of time or the times it happened. But I can at least take from that and say, I can be there for my kids right. and have them feel or as best as I can and mm -hmm. have them feel comfortable talking to me because there's going to be experience. I'm not going to be able to go to school with them 24 seven. Yeah. And it's kids that we worry about when there's adults there too. And not every adult is safe just right. because you're yeah, that's true. You know, right. a teacher or mm -hmm. whatever you are. So having my kids know that I'm that person they can go to. I'm that bitch. I've been that bitch. I've been that bitch. <laughs> I'm still going to be that bitch. What? Ooh, have them knowing no. that. And, like, just knowing that I'm going to be your mom. I'm going to discipline you when you've done wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the right way. But if you're in a car accident, if you have um, somebody that's being inappropriate with you, if you're online and you're scared, if you're at a party and you've been drinking and you're afraid to drive, mm -hmm. if something is in a, in, you know, a thing that we can all agree is mm -hmm. a not safe place to be, right. I need my kids to know, like, I'm not judging I'm them. I'm here. Right. I'm letting it go. I'm just there to save you. Because at the end of the day, what, my yeah. job as a parent is to raise you and keep you alive. But that's why it's good because then they'll be more open to come to you where a lot of teenagers tend not to do that with their parents because mm -hmm. they know how they're going to react. And yeah. that's the biggest issue. Right. Now, a lot of teenagers can go to their parents knowing that I can talk to my mom or I can talk to my dad right. about anything mm -hmm. because they're going to judge me right away or they're going to do this and that because mm -hmm. the first thing that goes to their mind is punishment. Yeah. Or right. like, yeah, or like, you know that what you're doing or something you've been put into, you're thinking I've done wrong. It's mm -hmm. my fault. Mm -hmm. When in reality, the situation, like, I thought when I was put in those situations that if I told anybody... I was going to get that person in trouble and it would be my fault. It would be your fault. Instead of realizing I should have never been put in that situation. And there were times where, you know, there's a there's always a power time mm -hmm. dynamic. There mm -hmm. always is. Oh, yeah. And there were times where that was really put on me. And it's this idea of, like, I can't say anything. I can't do anything. And you feel helpless. Yeah. Or, you know, every time somebody says, like, oh, kids are messing around with adults or, you know, something like that. They're, like, they're just trying to be grown. And it's, like, not no, always, no, you know, you, no. you might work your way, you might be like, oh, I'm going to talk to this adult and I'm going to flirt or whatever. And then at least as a girl, right, right. you're like, oh, I'm going to flirt or whatever. And then you get into a situation where you're like, this is not what I this wanted. This is not what you wanted. I didn't know about this because you're a kid. Right. Having right. somebody you can go to and saying like, hey, this happened to me and having them believe you is a huge thing. Not having like an adult that I felt like believe would believe me. Mm -hmm. Um and not having an adult that I knew would just not only believe me, but would not punish me, right. um, made things really tough. And I need to be that for, if I have kids, my kids, and mm -hmm. if not my kids, somebody. Yeah. Um, and that, it's tough, you know, yeah. um, especially tough. in a world where, you know, people do come out and say something's happened to them and they don't get believed. Right. Um, That's facts. Mm -hmm. That's facts. And That's that makes so. it harder for everybody. Yeah. So. But long story short, very long story short. Yeah, that's, yeah that's that's kind of my future. It's not necessarily my plans and what I'm going to do, yeah. but who I'm going to be and just crunch the bottom. What my plan is for them. Dog's <laughs> like not about it. Yeah. I'm doing a hate crime on the side. Right. Right. Animal abuse. Oh man. Right. So. Last thing before we go, is there a message? There you go. That's what I was about to ask. Oh, yeah, man. is there a message you want to leave our off with our audience? With our audience. Res something you want to resonate yeah. or put something in that the resonates ether. with you, something that you, you. Uh, well, you know, 
I believe I have talked enough, but... Um, oh, there's no reason. There's no such thing. Oh, 100%. You ever <laughs> listen to somebody just go and you're like, all right. Dang. Yeah, but if you're with people that love to talk, then it's an yeah. never ending conversation. Yeah, and if you listen to this podcast, you got to be used to people that love yeah. to talk. You yeah. can't, can't. Plus, we, plus, we do clips too, so. That's what a podcast is for. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess it's like, you're going to be okay, you know? You're going to be okay, whatever it is. You're going to get through it. Somebody else has gone through it. Um, my big, yeah, I guess my whole thing that I live my life through is like, it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's not, it's only going to last for a short while or it's going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah. Um, and nobody knows what they're doing. You uh, know? Yeah. You're nobody, all born ignorant. Exactly. You're born ignorant. You continue to be ignorant. And I think there's an idea that that's a bad thing. No, it's not. It's and like, not. if you're being ignorant and spewing a lot of things that you don't know about, or don't that's believe different. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Right. But like, you know, we talked about a lot of things that might be controversial. Religion, mm. race, mm. stuff like that. Race should not be controversial. It should. <laughs> but it should. Those they should teach this in humanities. Yeah. But if you're somebody that, like, has been listening, because this is to, to the viewers. To the viewers. If you're somebody that's been listening and, like, you disagree with something I or you guys have said. I got the gloves. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yeah. Up. But right. at the end of the day, like. You know, it's no hate. No, it's no your you opinion never, is your own. It's, it's okay to have one. Yeah, yeah you can it's have your own hate. opinion mm-hmm. unless it's wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, dude, I'm like, I like it. Unless it's wrong. Yeah. But nobody knows what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys don't know what you're doing. The person listening doesn't know they what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Um, you don't got the answer. Yeah, it's maybe just like thinking about that when you go, you know, between this week and next week, thinking mm-hmm. about that, about like how everybody's going through life and everybody's experiencing life at the same time maybe at different like points in time but at the same time you know just because your elders are your elders does not mean they've got it all figured out and just because somebody's super young and don't get me wrong i don't have it figured out at super young i didn't have it figured out at 17 i definitely needed an adult but that i needed the right one Mm -hmm. and um i think there's a beauty in growing up as much as i hate getting old and then you know, I'm going to have the gray hairs and everything oh, soon. That's the best I part. can't wait to get old. Look at this. I got those listen, little grays. Listen, as can't a woman. I can't wait to get my grays, boy. As a I woman, we're like, you're expected to look a certain way. No. Oh. But part of getting old, I do really, and this is what I was talking about with my future, I do really look forward to being the adult that I didn't get to have. Right, that's awesome. And, that's, uh, that's a good way. Just be, and, that's a, and, you know, people say that. Be the person that your younger self needed. Um, and if. You know, you're going through life and you're talking. I mean, go ahead. Talk your shit. Talk right. gossip. Yeah. That's, you know, <laughs> make sure it's with somebody some, that some you trust. Yeah. I talked yeah. to Jeff about right. gossip. Right. It's just stuck between me and him. But, I, yeah, I told her what goes in here doesn't yeah. come out of my mouth unless exactly. you want it Exactly. And you got to be that type of person. Mm-hmm. But be the person that you needed your younger self to be. I was in college. I was not the person I needed. Um, and part of, like, growing up, like, I grew up in a very conservative mm-hmm. household. Mm-hmm. Um I heard all the stereotypes. I was told all the stereotypes. And I think, you know, they say nowadays that white people aren't, sh- I mean, other than grandparents, aren't straight up racist, but they have racial ideologies that they've been told right. that they just assume are correct. So it's in the back of their it's heads. subversive. Yeah, they don't, they'll oh, yeah. say like, oh, I'm not racist, I'm not racist, but they'll say something that's obvious. Oh, yeah, you, right. could date, you could date Spanish or black or black, yeah, but then yeah. they're like, mm. Yeah. Right. Or, so I think a big thing for me that I guess I'm going through life figuring out and like in college, and I... I didn't go through, like, high school calling people N-words or anything. Like, no. I, I stayed pretty, you know, you were told it as a kid, and I was like, mm, well, you do no, I don't think I want to use that You word. do get mistaken in Spanish sometimes, though. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. at the airport. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean, like, I, you know, I wasn't in middle school or high school just, like, spewing hate. Yeah. I knew right away, like, I don't know if I agree with that, but there was something so beautiful about being in college and meeting other people and learning different, you know, cultures and, and experiences. And being like, you know what? This is the type of person I need to be. I want to be accepting. Bruce, I want to be somebody that other people can be with mm-hmm. um, and go to. And that's just kind of how I started to shape myself and just be the person yeah. that, you know, I wanted to be and needed to be. Um, and it's 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 kind of heartwarming. I, I don't ever need to be successful in anything, although I'm a perfectionist, I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't need to be successful in anything as long as I can look back and go like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm the adult that would have saved me. Um, yes. And it's morbid. Yes, yes, yes. It's sad. No, 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 no. No, it's not. 
No, it, it's, no, no. It's like sad in the sense I of like. With that. Yeah, it's sad in the sense of like Let's you think about younger you and you're like, oh my god, you who put that you. kid right. through that? Right. But it's beautiful because you get to be that. Person. It shaped you the and molded you. Stops here. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It and it molded you to whatever, the person you are yeah, today. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. be you if yeah. the events didn't happen. And if, I mean, not to say everybody should do that. Everybody should do that. But. If everybody's doing that, or at least one person out of every ten is doing that, think about how many kids we can save. It would change or, the world. It you know, changed the world. And that's the thing. I mean, it even even down world. to government, we talk about how the politics, how politicians are way too old to be mm-hmm. in government. Yeah. Oh, they shit. don't care about us, and that yeah. goes all the way back. And, to the, and they're taking about. their ideals from back in the day and trying to put it into today's society. Because that like, works for them. Because exactly. it works for them. But exactly. it doesn't work for us. No. Exactly. If we, I, that's my thing. Is if you grow up, or at least. You start now thinking about, man, who did I need? And, who, you know, or if you're, you know, a parent or a grandparent and you think you're great for who you are now, mm-hmm. think about, like, who your grandkids need. For those people that, like, you know, your grandkid maybe came out as LGBT or came out as, you know, a different gender or whatever it may be that was mm-hmm. afraid to tell you or a kid that had, like, a biracial or a uh, relationship. If they were afraid to tell you, there's something going on there. Yeah. Um, and it's this idea of how can I better myself um, to be who they needed me to be. Because at the mm. end of the day, unfortunately, we do only relate to the people that matter to us. That matter to us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's true. You know, part of the reasons that you have, like, these neo-Nazis is because they don't have black people that they matter don't, to them. Right. They don't have Hispanic people that matter right. to them. So they don't care enough to learn. To learn. Um, yeah. For me, it's okay, well, I needed somebody to be there for me to take me away from these adults that were doing wrong to me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have that. It's being somebody that's like, I had a multitude of friends, but I had friends who wouldn't talk to me about their experiences Mm -hmm. um, because I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. So how do I reach out? How do I learn? How do I become somebody that's an ally, you know, not only to other races, but to my own community, Mm -hmm. like LGBT? Yeah. Yeah. I guess this is kind of like my way of coming out as bisexual because that's never been like, you know, something that I straight up said. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, like I said it in like conversation, but like my parents don't know. They don't know. Yeah, because again, it comes down to like that conversation of, oh, well, you just think that you haven't actually experienced it therefore you can't be right. yeah they Stop tell things. you how what they you tell know, you how to think, how to think and how yeah. to feel because Bruce, come here. xyz yeah um, and that's yeah. the thing yeah. is like yeah. being somebody that's still currently i guess in the closet in a way with my parents how do i be the person that somebody can come up to me and just say like hey this is how i feel mm-hmm. or even down to something as simple as an opinion right hey yeah. i feel this way you know of course like i said if you're like racist sexist blah 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 blah. i'm not gonna agree with that i'm gonna tell you i don't agree with that Mm -hmm. but i want you to feel you can come to me with Mm -hmm. that um if at the very least if you're racist i could be like all right cool i don't really want to be friends anymore Mm -hmm. unless you're willing to work on that right exactly like there's a difference if you're coming to me saying yeah if you come to me and you're saying hey like um you know i have this preconception of of hispanics or i have this preconception Mm -hmm. of black people and I understand that that might not be right. Like, what is your experience like? Or how did you work on it? Or whatever. Then I could be like, okay, cool. Let's meet some of my friends. Because I think one of the hardest things for, especially people that have that, like, bigoted mindset. Not, you know, there was a a girl we worked with whose uh, son is, um, either her son or her nephew or somebody is a part of the LGBT. And she didn't know how to handle that. And it's this idea of being like, and she she was asking me and one of our, and like our decorator who was there with me at the time. She was asking like, well, what do you guys think? How would you handle that? And then, I mean, I don't mind if you ask questions. Right. I don't. And my decorator was like, some of the things she was saying were rude. Do you have an issue with that? I don't have an issue with that because you're asking. You genuinely right. care. You want to know. You want to know. And I can't speak on the on the topic of like race because I'm white, but on the topic of race, I would feel it's the same way. Yeah. If you are asking from a genuine place of care oh, okay. and understanding. Why is it rude? Right. Yeah. Right. You know, right. like, to, you know, it, it's okay, I guess, for, like, somebody, you know, I get mistaken for Hispanic because people don't know what brief people look like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Everybody, That's wild. Everybody Which is wants brown. to talk about That's the Greeks. Wild. Nobody knows what they look like. That's wild. Um, I get mistaken for being Bruce, Hispanic all the time. So, uh, you know, somebody might say, like, well, you know, 
where are you from? I've had people ask, did you swim here? Things like that. And it's this Damn. idea of, like, that's not appropriate. <laughs> right? Why? That's what? not right. No. But they don't know that. But they don't they're, know. They're right. thinking, like, well, that's what Cubans do. And it's like, they well, thought They're thinking, like, the image they see is what media per- portrays, yeah. it, which yeah. is refugee, which is yeah. trying to escape you know, poverty, yeah. which mm-hmm. is... And or it's like, like, you know, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, I grew up, um, like I said, I grew up in a very southern conservative mm-hmm. household in Florida. In probably. Florida, <laughs> baby. Florida. Yo. So like, I was told, you know, I, I wasn't told, but in every every little way, I was told like, you know, black people are thugs or um, their hair is dirty. And it's this idea of I got to college and I was like, mm. well, first of all, I was already like, well. You know, there's white people doing crack, so... Yeah. Or, or Spanish people are illegal, or this, yeah. the stereotype. Every, yeah, every person, you know, every Spanish person's illegal Welfare, or whatever. Welfare, all yeah. that shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then it came down to, like, and, you know, it's tough to say, like, oh, it was until college that I knew for a fact. I knew that there was something wrong with mm-hmm. that. But in college, when I got to be my own self, I got to go out and ask. Mm-hmm. I built up the courage to, like, sit down with other people and say, like, not, I didn't straight up go, like... Are you, is your hair dirty? <laughs> I didn't. But I did say, like, what are preconceived notions that you experience as a black person every single day? Mm. And what about them is wrong? Is because wrong. I knew that, like, you and I are equal. Mm-hmm. Not according to the U.S. No, law. But, right. 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 but I knew we were equal. So then it was like, okay, um... I knew that, like, your hair is probably not dirty, but how do you do your hair? How do you do dreads? Yeah. How how do black women work on their hair? Which, by the way, they do not get enough credit for the amount of work they put into their hair. Oh, my God. The yeah. wigs. You the think braids. black men are the ones who learned oh how to do dreads? Who do you think was doing the Listen, hair? What? I, I talked to a coworker. What? I my dreads on the weekends. Listen, I talked to a coworker at the airport, and I was talking to her about hair, because one of the things that I am fascinated with is watching how... When black women have developed their hair over the years and I do think there's a respect to it like no I don't think white women should be getting dreads I don't think white women should be getting uh, corn their hairs like cornrows mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if I do think like you know if a white woman wants to do like viking braids absolutely sure, those are not? completely different right. from cornrows, cornrows right. A because white hair cannot handle cornrows it's yeah. too it's tight too stressed, it's too stressed. Yeah. like I have at the end of the day I have different hair from you that's just how it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had that conversation about it with her. And her opinion on it was that she doesn't care yeah. if, if a white woman wants to get her hair yeah. done. Some people have that opinion. That's fully up to them. As myself, I'm not going to do that because right. I think it's inappropriate for mm-hmm. me to. I have my own culture, whether people know about the Greeks or not. <laughs> but I have my own. They exist. She, yeah. <laughs> but I can appreciate it. I can think it's so fascinating. So listening to her talk about the fact that she spends hundreds of dollars on her hair, the fact that braids can last a few weeks, which is why they'll do that, over a wig, which you have to get done every couple every days. Yeah. yeah. Insane. And it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, um, being respectful of others. So, yeah, I guess my last question is just be the person that you needed and, you know, who others need you to be. I. Yeah, it's so easy to be like everybody's bad everybody's against yeah, me everyone's mm-hmm. against you right but yeah. amen, the amen. world seems a lot better when you're uh trying to experience it with others mm-hmm. that's yeah. facts yeah. that's facts amen to that so jeff what do you think oh dude you're gonna be back you're gonna be you're gonna be back a lot yeah? oh my God. absolutely Judge. Got my absolutely well, you're gonna be back a lot we're gonna dive into everything existentialism we're gonna talk about it. Everything. Yeah. We're gonna talk about politics, geopolitical shit. We can talk about bullshit. We can talk about man, bullshit. TikToks. Yeah. What the hell, yeah. Yeah. man? I feel like you're someone I could talk to forever. Yeah. Well, eh, we can talk you. to. We we can talk forever. I told you. Yeah. Well, All I think right. the biggest thing is hopefully everybody else enjoyed it and like you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't like I said your podcast. again too. No, no, you're not. We we try to resonate a message with everybody and give a person an open minded perspective. That's why we started this because everybody has their own opinions and it, and and a way of thinking and instead of being narrow minded and having right. a left or a right opinion, why not just be open minded to? We're not saying to change. Yeah. But we're just, not, yeah, we're just not be to, willing to listen. But understand you're in a world with other ideas. Exactly. Other, 
Uh-oh. And I think that's Ooh. why we might re- resonate, or I uh, might yeah. resonate with this mm. podcast so much, is yeah. this idea of everything's out there. Everything's so. out there. That's so why I'll aliens are real. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. I'm so sorry. Next time you come back, we're going to talk about that uh, alien uh, sighting that was over. All right, uh, so we're doing okay. Aliens in Part 2? We okay. did Aliens episode. Oh, yeah, oh, Aliens Part yeah. 2 coming up, dude. Yep. We're going to talk about all that. Right, all right. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, my man, Jeff. Take us out. Thank you for joining us at the Tabletop, guys. Uh, we had our special guest here today, Brooke. She was awesome. We're definitely inviting her back. Most definitely. All right. For having me. Yeah. If you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can catch us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to take a look at our ugly <laughs> mugs on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, we will be on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. And we also have our new Clips channel that will be uploading old and brand new episodes every day. And tiktok yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. all right yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good night day weekend and or evening thank you thank you thank you